Hallo? Test, test, test. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a new day of streaming. Um, today is Wednesday, and we are well, almost on time. I kind of prepared stream quite long today. Now it's 16.55 instead of 16. But okay. Um, yeah, hi, 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 hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Today, we continue with the Pirate Saga. And I would like to mention that I took the time yesterday and uh, prepared all the, all the amulets. As it turned out, we had all amulets necessary and only three, uh, three, two. Two of them were only missing. Uh, the Zanza head amulet that we accidentally used uh, on Monday. And let me start the, uh, the game. And a Casca Vela, which we used purposely on Monday too. That emulates that poisons people. Yeah. Um, enemies while fighting. Um, yeah. It was very easy. Uh, the lighthouse keeping Guadeloupe was the one that offered both of them. So we went for Cascavella first because it was first. And uh, Zanza, the other amulet, uh, was available at the local mystic trader woman, you know? Yeah. So we had to wait two months. And in the meantime, uh, I took Rosario and uh, the evils, uh, the eye of the storm and El El Cascador and the Flying Heart, yes, uh, into my fleet and traded a little bit around uh, Blue Belt, Willemstadt and St. Pierre Bastare. And St. John's. Now we have all the amulets plus 25 million. Yippee. And I fired a few men because, uh, yeah, we don't have currently a priest on board and they will start to become unhappy, you know. So, one moment. We even have arsenic. Class 4 or lower, that shouldn't... Ah, wait, yes, El Cascador wasn't... Wait. El Cascador was... 3, yes. Yes. Cascador, El Cazador. Uh, was three, okay. Yeah, I guess it shall be my thing then. Torero? Also three. Okay. Um, yo. Uh huh. Uh, there will come a time where you must navigate to just... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you are finished with justice. Still are finished. Oh! 
feed and butter core right into frigates. This part of the crystal world is a world about your class for beating those way to outside the swap. I will want some large pearls and diplomas to spend on just this island. Possibly some oil, depending on how lazy you are. I have oil said you will want to cut a thread of cast. A throat of cast iron talisman. I have that. As a talisman. As so. You look at doing the false trace crystal. Definitely you can find the instructions for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and I think we are ready and good to go. The Pirate Saga, let's go. Where is the Pirate Saga? Normal. Mm -hmm. Correct and frigate. Technically, I should be able to. Uh-huh. pesos. Okay, easy. Mm -hmm. What? Helen? What's Helen? What? Talisman. Oh, okay. Oh, with was? Rewards Quest Item Profits was? Present Amulet Temple. Okay. Once you have been given the go ahead for Michelle to visit San Swens and Blue Belt, you can head over in that direction right now. No timetable. So do whatever you need to do to get ready for the pirate saga. Upon arrival in Blue Belt, you go to the local town about Jan, the Bucky Britannia. Okay, so when do we You know what? Justice Island. Just this island beyond this beyond when exactly? La 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 Mentioned that okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's go back up again. Uh, yo, okay, he will warn us when we have to swap. Okay, not a problem. So then, I guess let's go. Got any news, brother? I'm already sick and tiring of hanging around here. Well, greetings, Corsair Charlie. Tell me, Charles, how did you fall so low? I can't believe this. My brother, who made a squeamish face when I once mentioned plundering a Spanish merchant galleon, and now one of the most wanted and dangerous pirates in this region. Even I, sitting deep in shit, turn red every time your infamously reaches my ears. I have cursed the day I sent you to La Vega. What a shame. A French nobleman has joined the pirates and has become the worst of them all in such short time. But no, brother, are you looking for a vacancy in the job of pirate baron? No, I am done with piracy once and for all. I am very glad to hear it, if you are telling the truth. But can I really trust the word of a pirate who burns cities even if they are Spanish and not as civilians, including women? Stop. I'm really sorry for what I was doing during my time with Tyrex. I have seen hell with my own eyes, brother. No, it's done. I am done with piracy and no way I am setting foot into La Vega again. I will do everything it takes to restore my good name. You will have to put quite effort into it, brother. Do you remember what I had told you once before? That it's a totally different game to be a pirate and to do business with them. You. <sighs> Forget it. I hope you will not do the same mistake with Shark and Swenson. Do the job, but keep your distance from them. You are a French nobleman after all, so be above them. 
Now go to Jan Now go to Jan Svensson. Uh, to, my, my god. Now go to Jan Svensson. He is in Blue Welt. Try to make him your ally or our dealing with Levasseur will turn into a bloodshed. Fine. I'm on my way. So, and here we go. The burden of the Gascon. Time to take care of Michelle's and the points his business. Heading to Blue Belt to see Jan Svensson, a pirate baron. We have ammo, we have food, we have medicine, we have a best of gunpowder. We need gunpowder. We have weapons, okay. Alright, it's night time. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? YOLO. We have enough gunpowder. So now we go, we go to Blue Welt, ladies and gentlemen. I have equipped uh, everything else again. I uh, took some potions and ammo and I thought that's it. Okay, good. Nice. Um, health is again uh, excellent. Almost a level up while trading. Very nice. Still no personal perks. Honestly, I don't quite get it. Like, I kind of thought that I get uh, one point for one kill, you know? But. What exactly do I have to do to gain personal perks? Naval perks make sense. Uh, use your ship. Shoot with your ship, sink enemy ships, stuff like that, blah blah blah, you know. But personal perks I'm not quite sure. Is even walking enough or do I have to add anything specific? Oh, a personal perk, nice. So, uh, what would I have? Yes, I would have liked to give you skirmisher. 5% faster reloading firearms when you have accuracy. You can use much better than firearm. Aha. What if you faster shot? Faster reloading firearms. Firearms. Yeah, sure. So. And now I shall give him. Weapon. Oh, he also has a personal perk. Um, what do I give him? Give them more uh, energy. Uh, yep, very good. Now, um, and you also have a personal perk level up. Okay, so. I give you let's give you this I guess so okay so let's save
Oh, blue belt, blue belt, la 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 la. One ship. Honestly, I am. I wanna take a look at it. One big ship. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Where is just a galleon? I forgot to pick my cannons from Willemstadt. Yeah, I unloaded uh, cannons from the ships just to have more carry weight. Oops. Just a galleon with 20 pounders, it's kinda... Mm. Uh... Disappointing. It's our responsibility to be on guard. Welcome, by the way, you were going. Quit distracting me from my work. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I am just munching a little oops, munching a little bit. Um I just noticed there's a mission icon on the global map, which wasn't there before. That means we had to do La Vega? Or something like that. Anyway. Uh, Tavern? Tavern. Come on, don't irritate me.
time about the music again. Oh ho ho, look who's here, it's Charlie, it's Charles the Marais himself. And you were just starting to get bored in your absence, blah 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 blah. What has made it? Let's take a look around. Well, dear Captain, what would you like today? Um, I have a couple of questions. Different business. Sorry. My mouth was still full. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, listen, Sean. Who is Jan Svensson and how can I find him? This is the first time I've met a man who doesn't know who the forest devil is. That's the nickname was... What? The nickname was given to him by this Spanish and they offered a whole bag full of gold for the head of the privateer from Providence Island way back 15 years ago. Yes, the years fly by. People have already begun to forget about our Jan. Maybe it truly is time for him to have a rest. I've recently arrived here and I don't know a lot. If you're interested in the past, I can tell you a history book. Many would give a fortune for it, but I... Don't give me the run around, I ask you a question. I repeat, where does Jan Svensson live? I've got a serious conversation with him. He lives in a mansion across from the residence of our mayor, next to the fountain. But at the moment he is uh, he's going through some hard time set. I would recommend bothering him unless it's of the utmost importance. Why that? His favorite girl, Helen, also known as Rumba. Okay. The daughter of his late old friend, Sean MacArthur, dis has disappeared. Rest in peace, old man. Jan treats the young devil as his own daughter, since he doesn't have children of his own. But the girl has vanished along with her schooner Rainbow and the whole crew. Ah. Taste my rainbow, mother lover. Taste the rainbow. Something like that. I feel bad for the girl, a rare beauty, smart too. Hot and feasty as fire, that's why they had called her Roomba. But why Roomba? Her father taught her everything he knew. She inherited the ship and every single group had stayed on the side. Oh, even the oldest team wolves recognized her as a captain. A lady pirate? What could have happened to her? Who knows, a week is not that long, but MacArthur... Mark Antwerps. Okay. But... But... Mark Antwerps' widow is confident that something wrong happened to her daughter and she managed to convince Svens that. He called out his men and started searching himself with no result yet. Rainbow and her crew just vanished. I can tell you where to find ladies for a thousand pieces of weight. Your knowledge is quite costly, but you've piqued my interest. Here's your money. Where do I find her? I thought 8,000. I saw a, a thousand of eight. Okay, never mind. Her home is next to the pier, to the left of the mooring, but she's probably not there. She spends all day hanging out in the fort's walls, watching out for her beloved daughter. Daughter. She must have cried her eyeballs all her eyeballs out already. Thanks for the story. Bye, buddy. Oh my god, my ears. Ah. Oh, silence. Oh, silence. Let's go. Oh, okay. What do I do? Ah. Uh, first ones or ladies. What does the guide recommend? Uh, 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 uh. Roomba. Let's just call her Roomba, okay? I think that's funnier. Alright, I don't need uh, the Nemesis Dungeon Maps. Okay, and also other tabs. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. I'd also get to the fort and to the top place of waiting. You can't listen. I'm just going to be in Trevor at the fort. Ah! Yeah, it's the first woman ever of the, in the Caribbean. Okay, a uh, guide says woman, then we do woman first. Oh! 
the gentleman. Oh, I forgot to give Longway his new pistol. You know what? Let's do this now. I'm happy with everything. Go here. away. How about you? Well, that's fine for you. Overall, I am happy. Uh, uh, equip, equip, equipment, moi. Uh, haha, thank you, So, uh, Uh oh, wait. Uh, let me take a look really quickly about. Oh no. Uh, wait, Fady Thoughts. Fady. Fady Thoughts, yes, please. Sekunde. Ah, okay, and... Ah, Fady's Source, come on. Where is the quest? Fady's pushing to us, but it's to say that I put in, in this uh, quest. If you start boarding in three ships before you get away, might take a look so you don't miss the scimitar. And it's a random thing, three ships. Okay. Where is... Give me the mission. Fady's thoughts. So, uh, Skimitar... Okay, I haven't missed it. Okay, I thought for a moment that... Uh, uh, the thought which Bald Jeff Jeffrey had uh, was special in some way, but, but no. But now that I think about it, I think it was maybe a kinda rare uh, rapier, you know? Yeah, uh, in after sight, in hindsight, or hindsight, after sight, I don't know. Uh, Now thinking about it afterwards, I think it was stupid to put away uh, Jeffrey's Jeffrey sword. So other weapons were just tanked, man. But Jeffrey, I think, had a rare sword on him, which I totally missed to take with me for my collection. Yeah. Well, and I paid another price for my queen, I guess. So, mm, back to the Pirate Saga. Yeah, we go and talk to her. So, wait. Here, just look. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And. Um, do the time reload, equip. Do the time reload, okay. 
makes for a long reload time. That's actually not the case. It was a chance of cutting shot. Oh. Not only does this pistol do a lot of damage, but it also has a base critical shot chance. Guns like this. Very specific bankers, okay, like teaching kid. Okay, um, anyway, uh, you don't need the other pistol now, yes. I'll keep your, your pistol, of course. So, congratulations on your upgrade. Blah, blah, blah. So, bum, 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 bum. Down gate. So, uh, anything for me to pick up here? Yep. Aha, you sneaky. You, 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 you. Okay. Oh, there's a well. When is there a well? Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Anyway, where am I here? I don't care. Okay. Uh, wait. Where was? Uh, wait. Was here on the right? If you think logic. Oh. Okay. Um. But if you look this way, the fort was on the left side, was it not? Hey, that should be there. Hey, this doesn't make sense at all. Okay, usually uh, the roads and, and maps, like how they are stuck together, uh, make sense. For example, if you... Oh, map of police. I forgot to uh, put this into... I forgot to put this one into the... This two. Um... Yeah, usually, uh, the map layouts are logical. Uh, if you have, for example, Maroon Town, uh, and you would like to get to Portland Bay, you have to stick on the right sides of the map. You know? If you want to get to Port Royal, you have to, I guess, also walk on the right side, but then at one moment uh, take a turn to the more left side, you know? Or even go through the middle and then you arrive in Port Royal. Here in Blue Belt, the fort is right here. But if we go to the right side, we go into the jungle. But if we go here, uh, we arrive at the fort on the edge of the map somehow. How? That doesn't make sense. Oh.
It's our responsibility uh, to be on guard. Uh, uh, oh, where is she? I guess probably up, up there. Uh, probably uh, up there. I see. Uh, they will be never in the world, but or at least have pants too. Oh! Tell me more, and welcome back. Tell me more. What ex what are they planning? Where is the woman? And welcome, by the way, to the pirate saga. Ah, there she is. The sorrow. Will I ever see my little girl? Gladys Begarso. What do you want, sir? Are you Gladys Begarso? I am. I don't remember you yet, man. So would you care to explain what you want from me? I'm interested in the story of your daughter's disappearance, Miss McArthur. What made you think that she disappeared? I've heard that Helen had a very skillful crew. Uh, skillful is um, missing an L after skill. But okay. Ah, I am absolutely sure. Look, my late, late husband's death anniversary was five days ago. Helen loved her father and she would never miss this day. She had only left for a few days to receive a load of red wood from friendly mesquite people. The Indians respect and fear our patron Jan Svensson. They would never harm her. Mr. Svensson has already spoken to them. The wood was loaded on the same day. No one has seen Helen ever since. Perhaps the pirates attacked her? Nonsense. You must already know that Mr. Svensson is one of the five pirate barons and a member of the Council of the Brethren of the Coast. No pirates are allowed to hunt here without his permission. Oh, wow, okay. It could be new before. And what about the Spanish? The Spanish. Would she have faced the Spanish patrol? On top of more towns and POIs, further changes to the actual joke. If you say geography, do you mean like uh, uh, redesigning the world map more realistically? Because if you compare the in-game world map with the Caribbean of the real life world map, uh, you see that a few islands are slightly, as I do believe, believe. Ah, okay. Because some items are slightly, uh, oh, ah, how do you say, uh, oh god, sorry, ah, brain, brain, think, brain, think, brain, think, what do you, why do you have neurons for, uh, why do you have neurons for good English, uh, ah, what's the word, wait, 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 if you compare both maps, you will see that... Well, I guess some islands are misplaced, but that is not the word I'm looking for. Verschoben. Ah, let me google. Uh, verschoben in English. My god, sorry, sorry. Learning English with deal. Nein, not delayed. No, 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 not delayed. Um, S is... Not postponed, no, not timely, like moved, but physically. Uh, weggeschoben, maybe. Weg. Uh, not pushed. The, ah, what's the word? I know it, it exists, but even Google doesn't know. Verschoben. Uh, you know what I mean. Some islands, islands, great English. Some islands are slightly uh, misplaced, purposefully. I I think something like that, misplaced, whatever. Uh, but what about the Spanish? Could she have faced a Spanish patrol? 
I'm not good with politics, but they say that the local gold and silver mines are completely wasted. Not much treasures left to risk the lives of noble Hidalgus for, so there are rare guests here. Besides, the Indian people are hostile towards them. A random meeting with the Spanish patrol could have ended bad for Helen. She didn't do anything illegal from their point of view. Rainbow was flying a Dutch flag and all of Helen's papers were in order, including a trade. What the fish was that? I heard, I not heard, I, well, I also heard, but I felt and heard an earthquake underneath my ass. Either someone dropped the furniture or someone closed the door very hard. Okay, anyway. Oh, one to one port of some changes to geography. Areas were made flat, suggesting plans for future builds. And I noticed new anomalies to teaching from world and map. Okay, I mean I can't say anything about it, I just, I started the game maybe one patch after 1.1, 1 .1. no, I started 1.1, 1 .1. yes, I started the game at 1.1, 1 .1. okay, that map was interesting, uh, let me pay an order, did anything special happen before her latest journey, perhaps some odd event which you have missed? Ah, no! Thank God, we are living peaceful lives here. However, a few weeks ago, Helen received a letter from another unwanted admirer begging for a date. What does it sound? Did you also just hear a... Did you also just hear wind blowing through a tube in the audio? Oh, okay. Interesting. No, no. It just happened just now. It was a slightly... You uh, know... But... Uh, there was something of a... I, I, I can't reenact it. I, I'm not a parrot. Um... There was more tone to the winds just now. Something uh, as if something gets blown through a barrel or something, you know? Or tube. Anyway. Uh, uh, she's a pretty girl, but not a rich one. So she has got plenty of admirers, though she doesn't like any of them and she doesn't want to get married. She's already fooled a lot of folks this way. So frivolous, just like her mother was. <laughs> So, okay, well, you know the saying, like mother, like daughter, and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, stuff like that, you know. Uh, you don't look like the type of woman, Miss Megahouse. <laughs> what? Ah, whatever. I am heartbroken. What was I saying? Ah, yes, the letter. Anyway, the letter was written by Jimmy Higgins. He's one of Jackman's men and lives in my hometown. He visits our town quite often. Jackman is a pirate baron too, but Mr. Spencer doesn't like him. I don't know why. And Helen? Oh, she was laughing out loud. She had received a proposal from the captain of an English corvette a day earlier and she rejected even him. And now this common boat swain from the pirate's old hub. Not a chance, the daughter of... Sean McArthur demands a more imposing husband. And what was the name? Oh my god, she's a gold digger. Oh, my husband needs to earn one million a year, or otherwise I won't even look at him. Oh, 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 oh. If you can't make 200,000 a month, oh, you're not even interesting. Oh, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. There are some people, maybe men too, with very uh, specific, uh, how do you say, wishes. With very specific wishes. Um, okay, anyway. And what was the name of that English camp? Oh, 
how would I know? Real gentlemen are rare guests here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Non take? But okay. Ask that Higgins. You must remember his name. Jimmy was trying to do that camp for Helen. His pals barely managed to stop him from doing that. But both of them left Bluebelt a few days before Helen sailed off. Well, thanks for your story. I will try to find your loved one. If I learn anything, I will tell you more, Mr. Svensson. I hope to find your daughter alive and in one piece. Are you going to look for her? God be with you. Let him guide you and fortify your hand. I will be praying for you. Tell me your name, honorable man. Charles. Charles de Moray. I hope you return with good news soon, Miss MacArthur. Farewell. Okay. Pirate Saga. Ah, yeah, and it has begun. Let's sum up. Let's sum it up, but okay. My meeting with Vincent is delayed until I find the lost Roomba or find out what really happened to her. What do I know about this beauty? She disappeared with the schooner rainbow loaded with redwood. She has a skilled crew, so the probability of the special pirate attack is slow. So I won't leave either of them out of account. I find the Amoris version the most interesting. Ah, Amor, ah, Amoros. Wait. Amor? What was that one angel called with the with, uh, love arrows? Amor, I think. Uh, I find the Amorous version the most interesting, considering her popularity among males. Oh, males. There are two main suspects, her most recent admirers. One of them is a pirate, Jimmy Higgins of Maroon Town. The second one is an English captain of a corvette. The ship must be military, so I won't get any information in Blue Belt. I think every corvette is military. But okay. Um, the ship must be military. Uh, my only option... Ah yes, I won't get any My only option is to visit Higgins first, Maroon Town, Jamaica. I will also have a chance to know another pirate baron better. Daddy's tone was so strange while she was talking about Helen's mother. Did she meet herself? Or did she? I thought she is her mother? Oh, okay, anyway. Uh, so, what does the guide say? Uh, now, directly... Now, do we directly search for her, or do we go to Jan Svensson? Now. But Helen, there is no particular reason she should be in trouble, except she had a pushy at Belra lately. Hmm, it was Fury Thomasa. You mean you? Ah, pretty quick slip for an 18-year-old secret. I agreed to search for her with the information that she had to arrive with the location of the pirate. Oh wow, the weather suddenly changed. It got cold. Okay. Uh, so we directly go to Maroon Town. Okay, I guess we don't even talk to Svensson at all. Oh, okay. I'm not going to loot the chest uh, in the most bottom. I'm too lazy for that. So, da 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 Okay. It's our responsibility uh -huh. to be on guard. So, uh, are we now on a time? Uh, are we now under time pressure, I wonder? Wait, first we save. Uh, let's do it here. Oh. So, Maroon Town, it's almost like right here, more or less. So,
Wait a second. Up here or am I already... Ah, yes, here. Let me guess. Mm. We go to the tavern. Mm. 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 Okay, we are on a timer now. We have 15 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go to the tavern. Aha, I am learning. Wait, can I fast travel? Oh, I can. Hi. Oh ho ho, look who's here. Uh, questions, different business. Uh. Really? Oh. No. I would have guessed he was here. I mean, I would have guessed I was supposed to talk to the tavern guy. Uh, so, who's ready Just Marie. to die? Uh, no, I'm busy. I'm on a timely manner. Um, oh my god, of course. I, 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 sorry, I already forgot. He's the local pa uh, baron. Uh, AKA governor. Uh, is that him? Of course, I, I don't even have to search for him oh, to, to ask around the tavern because he is the local. Uh, how do you say? Prominent. He's a local celebrity. Well, not really celebrity, but you know what I mean. He's a major figure. I forgot. Sorry. So that must be you. Unless you know, the long they lay. Turn those legs around before I change my mind. Wait, who are you? Okay. Do you have anything to tell me? No, they get away from here. Where can I find Himmy? Uh, Himmy. G Himmy Chickens. Where can I find Jimmy Higgins? Really? Someone needs this lazy butt. He has been drinking rum alone in his shack for several days already. I don't advise you to visit him. He is not the finest man, even when he is sober. It's alright, I am not the saint too. Where is his shack? It's right in front of the tavern. He chose a good spot for quick runs to get a drink. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I see multiple shakes here. Uh, so, we have three options. Let's start with option number one. House. I think we found him. Ugh, damn it. Like Jimmy Higgins, hey. down on me. What do you want? Can't you see that I am in grief? Get lost before I kick you down the stairs. 
What stairs? Well, buy yourself a bigger house with stairs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bigger stairs. Uh, what stairs? Well, buy yourself a bigger house with stairs for that. Then we will talk about big kicking people down the stairs here. Uh, why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? Why are you so. Why are you so upset, Jimmy? No. Jimmy. Jimmy, are you here? No. Oh. Oh, this would have been so funny. No room for me for the rest of my damn life if hasn't got. What? No room for me for the rest of my damn life if hasn't got to do with some beautiful woman. If it has got. What? No. No room. No room for me for the rest of my damn life. Okay. If hasn't got to do with some beautiful woman. No room for the rest of my damn life. If it has nothing got to do with some beautiful woman. Probably is what he meant. I don't know. Only a woman could make such an old sea wolf like you threaten your old friends. Okay, what are you talking about? Yeah, do I know you? I don't remember you. God damn it. It's me, Charles. We had a nice time in Blue World after you almost disemboweled the insolent fellow in a coat. What was his name again? I have forgotten. Anyway, I won't give a damn about the cannons of his corvette if I ever meet him at sea. His name was Arthur. Arthur Donovan, captain of the Arbutus corvette. Filthy bastard. Do you agree that I was close to sending him to the devil? Of course. You had absolutely no chance, but your pals interfered. Forgive them, they didn't want you to be hanged for a murder of a naval officer. Ah, if only I had a ship. This bastard can be easily traced near Antigua, ha. Huh? I owe you one if you sent him to the bottom. Good deal, ha <laughs> ha. By the way, is Rumba really worth your suffering? By all means, I have never met anyone better than her. But she is just laughing at me. Everybody wants that mermaid. Some sailor secretly told me that our Jacob is looking for some girl who looks like, uh, just like my Roomba. He wants her too. How can I follow his orders now? Keep quiet, pal. Bald have ears. And why do you think that Jackman is looking for Roomba? He is, for sure. He is looking for some Henry, the hangman, and a 20 year old lass with blonde hair and blue eyes. Henry the hangman? Okay. Some Gladys Chandler from Belize must be her caretaker. Wait. Gladys has a different sure name. And she is her mother. Wait, and she is her mother. No, wait. Uh, Apostrophe. Uh, and she is her mother. That's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Oh my god, my English, sorry. I'm inventing a new language. Oh, you be uh, anniversary, let's go. Jackman is cunning. You can't catch him unprepared. I've been courting Roomba for a while and found out that Gladys married uh, Sean MacArthur exactly 20 years ago. And before that, she lived in Belize. Her first husband was called Pete Chandler. Poor Pete was killed in a drunk fight. They say that MacArthur himself was, was responsible as he had feelings for plumpy Gladys back then. Okay. She became a widow with a baby on her hands. The child did not live in steady by much and died of a fever soon after. Oh. And just a couple of months after Gladys and she, Sean, showed up with a girl, stated to be back after so daughter. Uh, uh, so. <sighs> Some sentences, sentences are just written the, the way they are that you have to read them twice to pronounce them correctly sorry i know it ruins the flow of the conversation but i'm doing my best uh, <clears throat> and just a couple of months after gladys and sean showed up with a girl uh, showed up with a girl stated to be MacArthur's daughter in blue Belt. so how could gladys give birth to another baby that soon do you follow have you told anyone else about this not yet keep your mouth shut or well, you know me. Yep, I do. You got a rotten tongue that tells anyone its secrets. Roomba is was right to send you away, blah blah blah. 
Sure, I will be tight-lipped. And now I have to go. Farewell, Jimmy. Okay. Let's hug it is getting clearer now. Well done, Jimmy. So, Captain of the Arbutus Corvette is called Arso Donovan. He is cruising not far from Antigua, probably on patrol, and he is the first suspect. He had all reasons to kidnap Umpa. She insulted and mocked him. Real gentlemen may not forgive such an attitude from a... Wah. <coughs> Sorry. Real gentlemen may not forgive such an attitude from a peasant girl, even from a beautiful one. He could know her course and uh, a corvette can easily catch and sink a schooner loaded with redwood. I should hurry to Antigua, this bastard can do anything if I'm right about him. But first, I should visit Jackman, I'm curious who and why he is looking for. Who and why he's looking for. Okay. So Jackman was the governor? I, I, I already forgot his name. I deemed him not worthy to remember. You yes, know, Jacob Jackman. I, mean, I think I said myself... I said myself... I think I made myself clear enough. Stop annoying me. Me again, Jackman. They say that you are looking for some missing... That you are looking for some missing people. And who has told you that? The trunk head Higgins? Have you found out anything about Gladys Chandler or Henry the Hangman? Nothing special, really, but I want to know something specific about the tank man. There's nothing to know about, if you, rem if you remember him now, but 20 years ago Henry was a very popular among horse from Bridgetown to Tortuga. You bet, a boat swain of Neptune under the command of Captain Butcher himself. Aha, uh -huh. he must be really old now if he's still alive, of course. Chances are low, but you know, nothing is impossible. I will pay 20,000 pesos for any information about him. Double if you bring him here alive. How much will you pay for Gladys and her daughter? Oh, she's not her daughter. If you bring that girl alive, I'll pay you a bunch of doubloons. I'm not interested in Gladys. Questions? I wish I could know the reason for this fuss, but I won't ask. It looks like it can short my biography. <laughs> Perhaps. Those secrets are out of your concern. Now let's live longer. Don't try to ask me such questions again because I have started suspecting that there is something wrong about you. Get lost before I change my mind. See you, Baron. Okay. The Pirate Saga. Now we have got a new actor on the scene in addition to Gladys and Helen. Henry the Hangman, an ex boatswain of the Neptune, Captain Butcher's ship. Serious people, serious business. So many years pass and someone is still interested. It seems that Helen is an adopted daughter of Gladys. Gladys' sure name was Chandler almost 20 years ago. This is a delicate business, so I should be careful. Hmm. So... That was it. The butcher. You can get a little more info on that from Jackman himself. So let's go talk to him. If you say something not nice to Higgins, he takes and you kill him. You never know what becomes of Helen or who he was. Oh, you can still find him in the same place. So, so, uh, he did it. so Jackman repeats what Higgins pretty much said. Harry the hangman is the butcher's sports when and Helen is Clary's daughter. Thanks. Let's go to Antigua and find us the right bastard, shall we? Ah, okay, so the guy doesn't even mention talking to Jackman. Oh, wait, no, we are. I'm stupid, I can't read. Here, Jackman. Uh, so, Jackman repeats what Higgins pretty much. Uh, we can get a little more info on that from Jackman himself. So, let's go out to. Yeah, talk to him, my best. <laughs> So let's just go to Antigua. When you get him, get too close to the boy, you can see the figure, but you need to put the poet. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. 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 So, look. Drop the pop, what up, what up, what up, what up. So, back to support. La 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 Let's buy some food. Whether you are a peasant, an artisan, or a nobleman, anyone can find a product that suits their taste. Up there, Antigua is uh, the island with St. John's. How many days do we have? Fifteen days to find the missing girl. Uh oh. Oh my god, are we already like too late? Good thing we saved. Arbuto discovered this crossing in the Antigua. I don't know why, but I am sure that Trumpa is there. Two arms! Oh! Okay. Ah, uh, two Really? Two arms? Oh, really? Great. I can't fast travel. So, where are they? We have good, clear weather. Okay, it's maybe slightly misty at the horizon on the horizon. People, do you see sails? You do know why, because you can see him here most of the time. Ah, Arbutus. Okay, apparently he's an enemy. Did we make it on in time? 
Boah, ist schon noch richtig dead. Mit dem Bounce. Hast du noch ein Mast? Muschkett wollt, okay. Der ist fort. Also slightly damaged. Interesting. So, where is he going? Coming towards us? Yes. But why? Thunder, thunder, lightning, very, very frightening. No, Galileo, Okay. I guess let's go. Fire all! I turn to far. Nein, I turn to far. What was it? Wait, was it was it lightning or did he drop a mine? Ah, come on. Damnation. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice, thank you. Bye. Schneller, schneller, schneller. Move, move, move. So. Oh, gold. Engine is I hope he didn't accidentally eat the gold. Was it? Okay. This a lot of food. So did we make it in time? I should have dodged. How dare you, convict! 
What is this voice? <laughs> Ach, you meinst Are you talking to yourself, Mister? Where is Rumba? What Rumba? I have a good cup with nicknames on my ship. This is a daily naval vessel. Don't play stupid with me, Donovan. You perfectly understand who I am talking about. Where is the girl? Where is Helen? Where is she? Where is Joker? Tell me, where is she? Answer me, you filthy bastard. Helen, there are no land horse on my ship, you piece of shit. No land horse? Hard to believe, since one of them is standing right in front of me at this very moment. I take it there is no point in continuing our conversation. Die, you pathetic worm. Oh, you. Haha, I shot first. Okay, that's cool. He still has his pistol in hand. Oh, okay. Captain, we have searched all cabins in the cargo hold like you have told us. We found a chained girl in the cargo hold. What the bastard, just as I thought. Have you unchained the girl? Sure, Captain. She has been safely brought onto our new ship. Okay. Oh, we made it in time. I think we barely made it in time. She's still alive. Well done. Take her to my cabin. I want to talk to her once we have finished here. I, I can. Okay, this is cool. I never uh, killed an enemy that is still holding. Ah, what's this? It is still holding. Uh, the pistol. That's cool. And what's it fits fresh? Another skimitar, I see. One of Hades' swords. Ah, brigantine. And money. That's cool, I guess. That is my recipe. Okay. Oh, oh, you bastards. Okay, with all due respect, with the English, yes. Uh, what mentality does the crew have that it supports such an action? By the way, just saying. Okay, we have the second sword. Yippee, Arbutus. Uh, great, again, more uh, stronger cannons than it can act. Oh, what is with my gases happening today? Uh, stronger cannons that it can act, then it can actually, like, carry. Um, yeah, okay, thank Captain. Particular loyal. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's take the ship. Haha, <laughs> this is my ship now. Now I am the captain. Hey, look. Look at me. I am the captain now. Okay. Uh... Dead bastard. Okay, rum. And grab shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Well done, Brutus was captured. Yay! We barely made it in time. The pirate saga. I've boarded Donovan's corvette. Helen was held there as a prisoner as I have expected. The scum had thrown her inside the cargo hold to the rats, so my arrival was just in time. Aha, uh -huh, if not even a day later. Now I should go to my cabin and talk with the girl. We did it, we did it. Uh, wait, let's do an extra save just in case we didn't do it and she's dying or something. I, mean, I don't know. It's her! I guess I can see why many males are interested in her. Okay, first, the thought. So, Prophet's Wrath. Uh, 44, 5, light weapons, okay. An old and almost straight line saber with a curved handle. Equally well suited for both slashing and piercing strikes. The razor sharp blade slips easily between both armor plates and drips. 
Uh, okay. What cool is this would mean that uh, it has some armor penetration capabilities, but okay. Um, oh! Passenger Helen MacArthur. She's a pirate. Okay. Cool picture, I guess. And she has nothing of. Wait. LOL, they have unique, like, background picks. Oh, okay, hello. Who are you exactly? What can you do? <clears throat> oh, you're okay, you're okay, you are actually quite capable. Mm, not bad, not bad. Uh, okay, good cap. Uh, good cannon here, good defense and repair stats. Prefers light weapons and firearms. Okay. Wait. Can I. Watch this rescue. Can I... Oh. Hey, level up. Okay. So, items. Yeah, fun fact, uh, technically, if you even, especially if you look at this description, uh, this is exactly what also describes a katana. And if I'm not mistaken, and I, and I remember it correctly, um, a katana is actually, technically, not a sword, but in fact a saber. A Japanese saber. Just simply because of its attributes, you know? Curved blade, one-sided sharp. You know what I mean? It's actually more like a scimitar than a actual sword. Like medieval, like sword sword, you know what I mean? Technically, I, I think uh, people, well not, I don't know, technically. Overall, I think uh, people uh, oversimplify every handheld iron weapon with a blade and grip uh, uh, as a sword. You know? Therefore, technically, okay, I'm saying technically too much. Therefore, a scimitar is in many people's eyes also a sword shape as one handed. A sword is also a one-handed weapon, but there are also two-handed swords, you know what I mean. Wait, is a saber always a one-handed weapon? Oh, that's an interesting, uh, sword. You know what, now I'm curious, it's always one-handed. Ah, but a katana is not. But is, wait, okay, you know what, let's google. Is a katana more a sword or more a saber? I heard that it's actually a saber because of its attributes. But I guess maybe not because it's two-handed. Wait, is a katana a sword or saber? Question mark. Katana is a Japanese sword. It's by a curved single edge blade with a circular or squared guard and long grip to accommodate two hands. Wait, I mean, a messer is also not a saber. It does, wait, does it have a curved blade? I don't think so. Um, it's hard with a saber. It's one of those types of saber. Does have similar attributes, I would agree. Yes, because I heard something that it's actually therefore more like a saber than a sword. It's more like a two-handed saber, you know, than a two-handed sword. Exactly because it has a curved blade, which makes it, well, more like a saber. 
And I never thought about it like that. And it made sense. And I think if it would have had a a uh, straight blade it would have been more like a messer and therefore closer to a sword actually edge facing upward everything I need to know Definition Saber. What makes a saber? A heavy carrying sword with a one edge side blade. Yes. Light dueling offensive sword having an arc guard covering the hand and the temple face of the tip. Maybe it's a cutting edge on one side and on the tip. I guess. A sword with a broad and heavy blade. Sick at the back. And usually more or less curved, like a scimitar. Scimitar, not scimitar. I call it a service sword. Like this fish. Paper, saber, okay. Hmm. Definition sword. Something typical of a long straight or slightly curved. Pointed blade having one or two cutting edges and set into a hilt. In so many of this or destructions, the use of force is as well. The power of having a long and usually sharp pointed blade with a cutting edge or edges. It's a general term including the small sword, rapier, saber, scimitar, and many other varieties. Okay, okay. If you include a saber into the sword category, then I guess a katana is a sword too. Because, like I said earlier, uh, a sword, the term sword over, overly describes uh, like all the bladed handheld weapons. Like blade and grip. Then I guess a saber is also a sword. But yeah, okay. In that regard, yeah, okay, then I guess a katana is a sword, yes, okay. But more like a saber, I think. Uh, I do have, uh, names of swords were more general and used more as a slang to describe battle weapons. Shown as we are later, you know what it means to do. Yes. As it means to categorize later. Yeah. Slightly curved. Is a katana slightly curved? Definition katana. Katana. A type of Japanese long sword. Hmm, having a single edge and slight curvature. Oh my god, wait. Is a katana? A Japanese long sword? I guess a saber is shorter? Wait. Oh my god, I think the katana is something like the cursed uh, child between a sword and a saber. Like a, between a long sword and a saber. Yeah. I mean, okay, it is a sword. Everything is, is is a sword. A knife is not a sword because it's too too short. Uh, it's a knife. Uh, long sword. Hmm. Single edge and slight curvature. Slight curvature. Okay, if you say slight curvature, if this counts as a slight curvature. Ha. Huh. Well, no, okay, I mean... We, hmm. Wait, let's equip... Ha. Huh. Interesting, let's equip... The Prophet's Wrath. Well, okay, that is also slightly curved. 
Show me your katana. Long way. Hmm. Yeah, slightly curved. Wait, I have a scimitar. Uh, let's pull out the scimitar. Uh... Is it Gimitar? There it is. I, your plate is also curved, but it's differently curved. Hmm. Hmm. Names of swords were. Uh, uh, so every sword would be called a saber at a time and place. The cultural norm to make all the places in early. Yeah. What is... Hmm. I think a katana is simply a specific item that is a blend between a sword and a saber. I think it's... Okay. I mean... Now that I personally think more about it with additional information, I think it's just more like a sword. I mean, slightly curved blade, okay. Hmm. I guess a messer can also have a slightly curved blade, and it, it, it doesn't make it into a saber, you know? Uh, now you're getting into the nuance of language. Okay, I, I am thinking too hard about what a katana is. Yes, it is a sword, but is it more like... I mean, is it more like a long sword or more like a saber? Oh, wait. Um... Ah, uh, you don't see. Wait, what? Yeah, katana. Slightly curved blade and stuff. And who the hell are you? What? Wait. Hä? Why is Fate Cut, Fate Cut Order here? Saber. Ah, better. Okay. Uh... And again, a ch Japanese weapon here. Yeah, I guess sabers are one-handed. That's a very long blade. Wow. Yusek Tesak, Polish saber, Sabla, Ottoman saber, Kirish. Persian Saber Shamshir. Wow. That is very curved. Persian Saber Tulvar. German ha Hanger Hunting Sword. Jagdschwert. British Naval Cutlass. British Light Cavalry Saber. Okay. French Light Cavalry Saber. US Heavy Cavalry Saber. What, what's it? Also Heavy Cavalry. Okay. US Light Cavalry Saber. That's almost the same, okay. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's more like a long sword then. Definition long sword. You know what? Let's check uh, the definition for long sword. Enter. Sort of a kind use in medieval for slashing and thrusting. It is very suited to kind of use in combat, but some can also be used in one hand. Having a crucifix on head with a cup for primary two handed use, a straight double edged blade of one, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I 
I think a katana is simply a mix. It's more. It's like a curved long sword and a two-handed handed saber. I think that is the most logical outcome. Anyway, let, let's continue. Hmm. I guess a katana is both. Okay. Both, but unique. Or, hmm. Not unique, forget. Uh, f forget it. Um. Okay. So. Nice, we have two fady swords now. Hippie. Bum, bum, bum. No bastard! Uh, maybe this. Um, back. La, 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 la. Yeah. By the way, why didn't he use potions? Tell us my recipe. Do I know this one already? Yes, I do. Uh, not I, F1. Yeah, I I already know it. Okay. Uh, sure. And oh, oh, that's a lot of bullets. Uh, stuff goes in here. So she is Helen. Okay, let's talk with her. After I sorted everything. Uh huh. Wait, I forgot the new boots. 152 blues, nice. Okay. Um. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, are we doing everything according to the guide? It burns the tube to the waste. The makes it look like garbage. But <laughs> after you have finished the fight, go to the cabin and talk to the old lady Miss Helen, who is eager to get a nap and some food. The Caribbean cruise line of Torero Miss. Buffet is on the quarter deck. Uh, we just talk apparently. Oh, oh, it would appear to warm her not to try oysters. I did one. Oh my god, okay. I don't know. I, I, I have to show you. <laughs> just, just read the guides. Uh, blah 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 blah. We bought it and sunk it. Blah blah blah. We found some items. I would burn that stupid corvette. The torero makes it look like a garbage barge. After you have finished the fight, go to your cabin and talk to the lovely Miss Helen, who is eager to get a nap and some food. Welcome to the Caribbean cruise liner torero, miss. The buffet is on the quarter deck. Well, I have the San Pablo, but okay. Time to take her back to her mother. She is impatiently awaiting her return. You have 45 days to do so, or Helen dies on your ship because of disease. The accommodations were less than adequate, it would appear. I did warn her not to try the oysters. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay. Uh, a good guide with humor. Hi, Shadow Kitty. Welcome to the Lurking. You are probably not here. Not even lurking, lurking, but anyway, welcome. Hi. Perfect timing, Cap. I don't even want to think what would have happened to me if you wouldn't have come. Is that a... Unique voice actor or the same one? Like Mirabel. Anyway, nice necklace. Is that a gargoyle head or something with ears? I don't know. Uh, thanks for your help, Captain. My god, you are even more beautiful than I imagined. You just say that because of the shirt. Wait, maybe you are right after all, depending on what you mean. Whatever. To hell with my beauty! Do you know how much grief it has caused me? Wear a mask. I have a nice outfit for that. I would cut my own nose off if it wouldn't destroy my reputation. That bastard wouldn't let me leave the Corvette alive. He kept saying that I knew too much. Then yesterday he told me that he was tired of waiting and was going to take me against my will. Nope. By all means. What would the crew say about this? I mean, he is an English naval officer, like, hello? Shouldn't he supposed to be the good guy? But anyway, you couldn't have arrived at a better time. But where are my manners? Yeah, I, I, 
50, we had 15 days and I think we arrived on the 16th. More or less. I think we, yeah. Yeah. We were very close. Or if not even late already. Uh, no better time, but where are my manners? My name is Helen McArthur. So my papa used to call me Roomba because I kept accidentally breaking the fine china that he had acquired. So that's why my crew. So that's what my crew called me now. Roomba. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I just have to think about the Roomba vacuum cleaner. The one small circular thing that drives around the house, you know, it, it, <laughs> and Roombas everything. Okay. My name is Charles Moray and I'm here to rescue you. Da, 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 da. I've been scouring the Caribbean for several days looking for you for the sake of Miss Gladys. Miss Gladys, how is she? Very sick about you, but you'll see her soon. We are sailing to Blue Belt. You can tell me everything that's happened to you on the way there. To be honest, Charles, I would like to have some food and a nap right now. I'm exhausted after all those days I spent on that monster's ship. Of course, Miss MacArthur. I will order the steward to serve you a meal and prepare a bed for you in your own private quarters. I think I get it. The pirate saga. I was right. Donovan ambushed the rainbow. Helen didn't have a chance. Schooner was boarded, crew slaughtered. Redwood was captured and the schooner was sunk. No witnesses were left. A and again. How did the crew agree to this? Smart. Donovan was out of suspicions and no one would ever remember about him if it wasn't for Mr. Higgins who provoked a scandal. If it wasn't for him, then Roomba would be feeding webs by now. And no one would ever remember about him if it wasn't for Mr. Higgins. Yeah, I guess she was very lucky. Uh, Oma would be feeding the crabs right by now. Yeah, okay, I, uh, back to Blue Belt. Oh. Oop. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go to Blue Belt. So, I guess we did everything. Everything all uh, correct now. Boop. Sure. Uh, did my reputation suffer? No, not really. No time to take the cake. Okay. Have arrived. Ah, there she is. I think she's stuck. Put, 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 put. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Put, 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 put. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Aye, aye, my captain. Who are we aye. saving today? Aye, aye. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Captain Demaray, I thank you again from the bottom of my heart for your timely rescue. 
You must visit me and my mother. Our house is not far from here, on, uh, on your left coming from the pier. And know this, Charles, I will never forgive you if you sail off without saying goodbye. Fair enough. The pleasure was... <coughs> the <laughs> I, I almost... Uh, how do you say? I almost adopted the voice for Charles too. The pleasure was all mine, Miss Ar Miss MacArthur. I will be sure to call upon you. And she's gone. Ah, this house, okay. Good pirate saga. Well, it is done. The girl did well. I hope that this will be reckoned in the other world. Now I have got a good reason to see Spence. I hope that he is better than Jack. Showing oh. the safety oh. of the town is a serious <laughs> task. So, Mother or Swenson, who is first? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can with the forest devil himself and we'll receive you now. So, go tell him the good news. The wife will send you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cartagena, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Just Swain. One last thing I can do with men. Okay. Everything is straightforward, we just talk. Uh, but when do we talk to her? I don't mean to mess something up by talking to her now. Because I learned at this point now that, uh, well, you can mess up quite easily if you do something that is not covered that way in order in the guides, you know? Oh, and really. Ah, important, okay. Important, before you leave Blue World, you are going to visit the Widow Gladys, if you want to have a relationship with yourself. Oh! Able to shoot between Mary. Who, who is Mary? Wait, the loading screen said Mary is very jealous. Multiple times. Who is Mary? Did you refuse the money she offers you? If you do not, you will not have the option to... Of keeping Helen after the pirate saga. If you do all three things, you will not be able to invite Mary on your ship. I can still choose her after you reject Helen at the end of the pirate saga. Who is Mary? Special note. Oh, wait, let me show you. Here. Uh, that is what we just read. Special note. There's an opportunity to keep both Mary and Helen as officers on your ship indefinitely. But in, it involves actually for failing the pirate saga? If you do not do the three things to be with Helen, you can fail the saga by not returning to the lawyer at the end to finalize the ownership of the island. What? At that point, Helen and Mary will both stay on the ship, with Mary being your girlfriend and Helen just existing for all time. Okay. The only way to move on with the main quest at this point is to attack and destroy Tortuga by mundane means, and the fort and storming it. It's a very difficult process. And we are now working on a timeline of one year to complete the entire quest, so there can be no more putting around. While you are hanging around Blue World, so you might want to go ahead and take a stop by San Juan del Norte. There are several Mangarosas there, and it's in any way in the storyline you will end up there, so you'll have to make a special trip. Uh huh. 
I think I have them already. Yeah, that one in the cave, I have them. The one behind here, yes, I do. Um, wait. Lily, Sherry Kuykoff is also nearby. If you need to see the manga, the lady. She's happy to see you. Ah, okay. Because again, you can do one of two things. You can go to town and ask about Henry. Lead you astray. You'll be hunting, hunting down a random guy. With Thank him for no good reason because he gets scared and takes care of his movement. Um, who is Mary? Um, the guide mentions her for the first time now and is giving me a choice. Uh, Which I can't really weigh, you, you know? Like, Helen or Mary? Who, who is Mary? Like, when do I, like, meet her? And stuff? You know? Uh, I mean, I mean, if you want to have it, I'll be able to choose between Helen and Mary. So if you the money she offers you, if you do not, I'm the pirate saga. Does I should begin and just do so after you check Helen and say the pirate saga. What about Camilla in France or Paris? Charles. Charles doesn't seem to be very loyal to women. Anyway, okay, uh, let's talk to um, Swanson. And then talk with Gladys. Gladys mit Arthur's house. Ah, okay. So, uh, somewhere in the center next to the somewhere here this building maybe i don't know yeah yeah Swenson's house a hey, science of deduction let's go oh oh i like it here ah come on oh hello what i can't open anything here nice building Yeah, not so nice outlook, but okay. Hello. Good morning, sir. Do you want to see Jan? Good day. It was nice meeting you. Miss Joanna Swenson, okay. Mrs. Mrs. Joanna Swenson. Captain Charles de Moray. Yep. Well, I am glad to welcome you in my house. My husband is on the second floor in his office. Go upstairs. I got it, Mrs. Swenson. Okay. Is she like his? Okay. Uh. Yeah. Is she like? Oh wait. Oh, look at this plate. Is she like his? Uh, receptionist. Can I loot here something? Anyway. Hi. Soon our brethren will cage to ask. How can? We'll have to await the changes, or resist them, single-handedly. Mm -hmm. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to ask for your help, Forest Devil. I know you, goddammit, you're the one... Uh, you're the brave captain that saved the room by and took the cannons of the English Corvette head-on. Such a joy to see you. Helen is like a daughter to me. From today onward, I'm forever indebted to you. You can just call me Jan or Svensson if you like. What can I do for you? I need to eliminate Levasseur, the governor of Tortuga. I know that getting to him on, this, on his island won't be an easy task, so I came to you for advice. Hmm. I mean, can't we just sneaky peeky assassinate him? Just, you know, 
to a drive-by with your ship. Uh, jump off off the ship, swim to the shore. Uh, sneak into the city, sneak into the mansion, stuff like that. Peng peng, peng peng, sneak out, or maybe throw plates at him. I mean, I have many plates. Uh, hide inside the jungle and wait around for your crew to come back with the ship. You know? And pretend you people just arrived when the authorities, like, uh, come to check on you. Including Charles, you know? But yeah. Um, I need to eliminate Levasseur, the governor of Tortuga. I know that getting to him on this island won't be an easy task, so I came to you for advice. Gracious me, where were you a couple of years ago? I was planning to pull off the same escapade myself. Or escapade? You ruined the whole game for us with the French, but everything was different in those days. Blaze was alive, Shark had some authority, and Nathan was calling all the shots in Maroon Town. Now everything's changed and God knows not for the better. Do you know anything about us, about the brethren? I've recently arrived here, so I know basically nothing, besides the fact that you and Jackman are part of the council. Oh, and I can't stand that Jackman. When he got here was... Uh, when he got here was when all... Blah, blah, blah. When he got here was when all our troubles began. I contemplate your request, right? Of the... Bad? Right off the bat, nothing comes to mind. I've got something interesting regarding Jackman. Hmm? What's that? Wait, no. Not the queen. Hmm. What's that? Jackman is searching for Gladys Chandler and her daughter. After talking to Higgins, I've started to think that he's looking for Hooper. It seems that Gladys isn't Helen's biological mother, and her last name was Chandler before she married Sean MacArthur. God damn! It's that's bad news. Jackman is stronger than ever now. On top of that, I've got a bad feeling he's not working alone. He's got quite an ominous shadow behind his back. If he really needs Helen, then the girl is in dire need of a protector. I'm afraid I'm a little too old to do that myself. Phew, <laughs> pussy. That's not all. Jackman is also looking for someone named Henry the Hangman, former boatswain of the Neptune from Captain Butcher's crew. Caramba, my worst suspicions have come true. This butcher and his Neptune used to keep the whole archipelago frightened. There were no brethren backs and everyone was on their own. That meant it a lot of bad things. A person dear to me died because of him. I have never had the chance to meet him. The Neptune was sunk by an English frigate and butcher was executed in St. John's. Good riddance. Though there were a lot of people who admired his luck and reckless bravery. Jackman himself was his right hand and first mate on the Neptune. Surprised? The ex-criminals have become heroes of the nation, all thanks to Cromwell. Where did good old England go? We must find Henry the Hangman before Jackman... Jackman's man will. We must find Henry the Hangman before Jackman's man will. Jackman's man. Jackman's man. Jackman's man. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps he holds the key to his uh, to this mystery, if he's still alive. I bet you would have an easier time finding a needle in the haystack. Have you got any leads at least? I knew Henry when he was a kid. Oh, the son of a whore from Cartagena, half Spanish. Though, he always kept it a secret. His mother was... Oh, okay. His mother was hot. Can't say she was pretty, but there were very few flamenco dancers like her. The whole Brazil watched shows of naked Chica Gonzalez and her castanets. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Poor girl. Caught a bad disease and died like a candle. Oh. That was when I persuaded... That was when I persuaded... Persuaded Henry to go to... Providence, where he quickly made a name for himself and joined the crew of Thomas Beltrop, a close friend of Nicholas Sharp. <sighs> uh -huh. 
Ahem. Sorry, my pronunciation of English today is not on its peak. At its peak. Grammatik. Ihr. Grammatik. <clears throat> Those two were the last dogs of Queen Elizabeth and always worked together. Good times. Thomas sailed back to England when his partner died. He took his crew with him, but Henry stayed in the Caribbean. Sailed under different captains until Butcher showed up. By the way, he got his nickname because of the cuddles he always kept close by. And what does this information tell us? If Hangman has decided to hide... Wait, Butcher or Hangman? If Hangman has decided to hide from the pirates, the best place for him would be in a Spanish city, especially at his home in Cartagena, where he has got friends and relatives. Henry has, uh, was fairly religious, so it's unlikely that he would be going to a different saint church. He has probably still got the same name that he has had since he was a kid, Enrique. Yeah, the pickings are slim, but at least it's better than nothing. Try to find him, Charles. Few know about Henry's Spanish roots, so we have a small advantage here. I'll think how to persuade Rupa to join your crew. Oh, the girl has balls. Never served under anyone's command except her father's. Okay. But she has neither ship nor crew and she needs to make a living. Sure, I will continue helping Gladys, as I always did. But I won't be able to keep Helen in Blue Belt, in Blue Belt for long. And you will find such an officer very useful. Sean taught her everything she knew and raised her like a boy. Okay. I would feel better if she were under the command of such a captain like you. Rupa has proven herself quite worthy. I need more people like her in my crew. So if you manage to talk her into it, I'll make her an officer. But first I want to understand who she really is and why Jackman needs her. I'm afraid that, unlike Donovan, he is not interested in her charms, so I'll try to find Hangman, although I can't promise anything. No, really, why does he want her? Does he need her blood, maybe, for some mystical ritual, like in Pirates of the Caribbean with the cursed uh, Maya gold or Aztec gold or whatever, you know? Who else? Wait, what, what third high culture was there? There were the Aztecs and the Maya. And there was a third one, I think. A third high culture in, in, in America. Before the Spanish arrived. One high culture was not affected by the Spanish because they were living in the mountains and the Spanish just didn't find them. Didn't find them. Uh... Maya, Aztecs, and something else, I don't know. Uh, Charm, so I'll try to find Hangman, also I can't promise anything. Well, splendid. Take this license of the Dutch West India Company for three months. Nice! Write your name there, it will... It very well might come in handy in your search, uh, searches. In the meantime, I'll think about what you have said concerning Levasseur and Tortuga. Thanks a million. This paper is going to come in handy for me. In that case, I'm off to Cartagena then. You have received an item. Ah, opa. Okay, the Pirate Saga. I had a meeting with Jan Svensson. He was really glad to hear about Rumba and he is ready to work with me. We had a talk about Levasseur and, I suppose, I have a real chance to get his support in this matter. I've told Jan that Jackman is looking for some people and riddles and mysteries. Let's suppose that Henry the Hangman is still alive. Let's suppose, okay. He believes in God and angels, so his name is Enrique now. Let's suppose... Okay. Can, do you say suppose? If you assume... assume I think assume is the word here. Let's assume that Henry the Hangman is still alive. He believes in God and angels, yada yada. I think assume is the word that is needed here. Let's assume that he has taken Gonzalez Mother's sure name. Perhaps he is hiding in Cartagena. Boarding saber hanged man is quite a notable item. 
Yet I doubt that Enrique Gonzalez will carry it openly. Too many guesses and too few facts. At least Swenson will consider Levasseur's assassination. I myself have got no ideas regarding the matter. In the meantime, I should... I mean, I just gave you an idea. Drive by with your ship, jump out the ship, sw swim to the shore if you can swim. You can swim, of course you can. You can swim. Uh, sneak into the city and easy peasy. You know, more or less. <clears throat> I myself have got no ideas regarding the matter. In the meantime, I should visit the uh, MacArthur's or whatever their true name is. I should also find Henry the Hangman Cartagena. And Rumba. I like the name. It seems I'm in for an extraordinary adventure with a lovely lady in the leading role. Before setting sail for Cartagena, it's only proper to meet and introduce myself. She did ask to pay her a visit after all. Fair enough. Let's say if you have received an item. Alright, the paper thingy? Yes. Dutch Trade License Company. Or Dutch Trade Company License. Um, let's save here just in case we are... Uh, being late a year. Yeah, we are. Yeah, in case we are being late with our one year time. Uh, Timestamp? Anyway. Ah, 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 you again, Captain Charles Murray. Move along. And us upstairs as usual. Thank you, Mrs. Swenson. Nice house, by the way. Oh. Uh, this way. Uh, look, this building. Uh -huh. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hi. Ah, Captain, you are always welcome in this household. Ah, oh, Captain. Yes, yes. Hello. Ladies, Megarso. I don't even know how to thank you, Captain, for saving my daughter. She has told me everything and I admire your braveness and honor. Here, thanks is called to blue. It is not much, but I offer them in all sincerity. And don't even think of refusing. Fine, Gladys, I won. I have saved your daughter and not for coins and I hope you know that. Keep this money for yourself, Gladys. You need it more than me. Ah, please. I just wanted to repay you for your honorable deed. Now that the doors of my home are always open to you, Helen and I will be glad to see you anytime. Thank you, Mr. Garthor. I will visit you and Helen when there is an opportunity. Bonjour. Ah, come on. Hi. You promised to tell me something very important. I did? Okay. Ah, there you are, Captain de Maure. I'm so glad that you are here. I have lots of questions for you. I'm sorry, Miss McArthur, but we must delay our conversation a bit. I need to get some more information before I can provide satisfactory answers. Right now, I'm asking you to not show yourself on the street. I hope that you are waiting... Uh, will not last long, trust me, wait. You said it yourself that you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't drop by. Wait a second. That sounds oddly suspicious. Remember, you're now working on a timeline. Wait. Well, you are now working on the timeline of one year to complete the cycle. Okay, no more pooting around. When you are hanging around Blue so I want to go ahead and take a stop by San Juan del Norte. There are manga was there, and there isn't any way the storyline you will end up there, so you will have to make a special trip. San Juan del Norte goes through the cave on the right. Come out, turn around. And Okay, the guide doesn't say anything about what to say, okay. I mean, I did save, so let's say this. 
It's nice that you remember. I wanted to tell you that I'm very grateful. Not every day someone saves you from... You know what. Let's go have a drink. My treat. Um. Helen, what will Gladys say? No. Damn it. Stay inside. Best. Very funny, Charles. Come on and don't annoy me. <gasps> Is this a date? I didn't even realize that. Coming, no need to get it cranky. Is this a date? Ha 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 ha! Lamau, Roffel, loser. Aha, noob. You wish. I would need to get completely drunk. Ouch! Never mind, I just burned myself too hard. Accidentally. Ow! I would need to get completely drunk. Okay! Just say no! God damn, you don't have to kill me. Oh, nine, wait. And she's gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I just took my friend outside to play. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Arthur. We will uh, return uh, in two hours. Hold on a moment, Falcon. Not the best timing, sweetheart. Oh, you're wrong, handsome. This girl likes you, and that feeling is mutual. I can see. The guide didn't cover this. Not the best recommendation. Alright, what is it you want? A handout? I want to offer you support in your challenging undertaking. Look here, a magic mug and a forbidden ointment. Mug will help you in shrinking matters and the ointment in matters of love. Oh. What will you choose? Only 2000. I know you can't see my face right now, but... Hmm. I see what you are doing here. I've already given a whole bunch of silver to your kind. Uh, forbidden ointment, you say? Well, I'm no saint. I admit it. Give it here. A mic? Do I look like a drunkard? Well, who am I kidding? I'll take it. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Let's take it. Why not? Uh, yeah. Sword of cast iron acquired. Oh, don't hide it in your bottomless pockets. Fly away, Falcon, and don't sin. You just offered me Cupid's ball. I think. I don't know. Oh, don't hide it in your bottomless pockets. Blah, blah, blah. Bottomless pockets. Really? I mean, okay, I guess. 25 billion. Um. Oh, hello. Who are you? Um. I maybe should have... Okay, I wish the guide would actually cover my conversation with Helen because I feel like I may have triggered something by taking her out onto the street into the tavern because there is a suspiciously high-ranking looking person at the table behind her to the left in blue with a white toupee, you know? Oops. Uh, she had many virtues, but she couldn't hold her alcohol. This is how we met. Right? My father insisted on military service. I yielded and went to Paris with a letter of recommendation, but I never made it to the designated address and became an artist. I forgot to, equi uh, to equip the item. I'm so stupid. Ah, whatever. Ah, now I understand what virtue you're talking about. What was your name? Lulu. Lulu. With these stories, you've completely ruined Paris for me. I thought it was a city of card life, but it just sounds like some big fancy puzzle. Oh. Do you condemn... What? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is my Vanguard doing? <laughs> It's background. Longway is just walking against the wall. 
die sie wie du in Folge Deluxe Team to be dancing. Lol. Okay. Uh, do you condemn models? Yes, Captain. I don't understand men who visit them. Uh, <coughs> uh, to each his own, I guess. <laughs> Stand to the back, have a terrible laugh. Uh, uh, yeah, to each his own, I guess. Last Aha! You should have seen your face. Scared? Let's say it's another one. To Paris. To Paris. Excuse me, my captain. Listening about your adventures. Loud. Listening about your adventures. Uh... And the life of noble. Quarter sense of both sexes. Shark, bite me. I'll never believe that you wouldn't, uh, that you couldn't find something more worthwhile to do with your time. Don't even dare to tell me that all you did was smear canvases and squander daddy's money. You wouldn't have survived a day with us if that were true. I had other pursuits. I combined the life and court with the military service, but not, eh, not quite the way my father wanted, of course. A couple of us came through the window and one ball, and I became friends with the gods, go not, not gods, but with the guards, but eventually I picked up a lot of things, toughened up my body. All the comrades taught me to take a hit, the armor, handle, a sword, and the relax properly. The last part especially suited me, of course. Ah, we are talking about his background now. But the older comrades taught me to take a hit with the armor handle as well. Yeah, the athlete background. And the relics probably. The last part especially suited me, of course. You won't believe it, but not everyone can swing the sword from morning till noon and then swing from noon till the next morning. And that's it. There's still something in you, my cap. Something you haven't seen yourself yet. To you. Good toast. Oh. Okay. Tell me your story, Helen. My adventures in the capital pay in comparison to a girl under 30 commanding a schooner with a hundred men on board. Just under 30, huh? Charles? For such a strong combat that you will have to pay for the next round. All my guys are dead and I don't command the schooner anymore. Frankly, I don't know if I will command one ever again. I'm sorry, Helen. Didn't mean to touch a nerve, but why do you think your captain carry is over? Because my crew is dead and a different one won't ever accept me. Eh. Okay, my captain, you have told me a lot about your life. Now it's my turn. The truth is not at the bottom of this mark, so let's just pin with the mystery. In my case, Charles is unique. Yeah, we probably shouldn't talk about your past in the tavern. Uh, my father was one of the best sailors in these parts, highly regarded by the forest devil. His crew worshipped him, and he loved me more than the life itself. Take away even one of these things, and he would have either sent me to London to live in civilization, or left me to wither here like my mother. Everything worked out great at first. I wanted freedom, real freedom, Charles, and a skillful command of a warship with a loyal crew okay. yeah, gives you exactly that. And my father gave me all he could. I went out at sea with him at the age of 12, spent the first six months chasing rats in the hold, and only then was allowed to work with the sailors. Sean also made you a ship rat? Sorry Helen, but there's no coming back from that. How did the crew accept you? Well, perhaps I'm exaggerating a bit for the sake of a good story. My father's crew accepted me. He gathered fine people, but since then I have been afraid of holes and any small dark spaces in general. Ha! Ah, Swenson almost killed my father when he found out. He is important to you. He clearly played a role in your fate. No less than she. Uh, Sean. No less than Sean. Yeah, all the parents directly told my father he was a fool, but it was the forest devil who gave him his, his approval and shook his hand after I beat the crew's record climbing the mast. Oh, okay. That moment will stay with me forever. The triumphant shout of the crew and everywhere I looked, the clean sea horizon. And my father's approving look. I couldn't see it, but I felt it with all my heart. My triumph ended with me falling from the rigging on the first day on the way to Guadeloupe. My helmsman 
the luck had a very telling look too. Okay. Ha <laughs> I can imagine. Don't worry, that was a long time ago. Now you're a real sea wolf. To our triumphs. We are here. And then I gradually rose through the ranks, served at the captain's table, and count, yeah, uh, counseled with my father and officers. Learned a lot. From the age of 15, they started to taking me on military campaigns, and I killed a man in my very first battle. It was a disgusting campaign. We shouldn't have set sail on a Monday. Really shouldn't have. At 15? You are scaring me, Helen. My father didn't come out that battle unscathed. And gazed either. The sight of my cracked dumb pain totally didn't help. Oh. He slowly started to decline and probably no one noticed except me. And then he was gone. According to his will, I inherited the rainbow with the crew and enough funds to keep the ship afloat for a year. And it's the crew except you as a captain. We don't live in a fairy tale, my captain. Some met my father's will with hostility. Things took an unpleasant turn. If at least one sailor had left the rainbow, refusing to serve under my command, it would have been very bad for my image. But Svens intervened and straightened everyone out. No one left the crew open. Excellent. For seven years I commanded my beauty, transported dubious goods for the forest, and searched for treasures, left. But now that's all in the past. Not in the past. I believe you are destined to sail under your own flag again. Let's treat with it. We may not recover the ship, but your rapier is still with you. Let's join to the edge. We need to power your ship, but your rep is still the same. Yeah, the first one. You know, when you say it like that, I believe it too. Let's join. I've been thinking about your life in Europe. Look, you're a city dandy. I'm just a regular girl, but we've already made names for ourselves in the most dangerous corner of the world. Sounds like a toad. So, is there something that unites us? Well, I stand on my father's shoulders. I don't know about you, but perhaps your family has also had no less influence on you. Maybe you haven't realized it yet. I'll ask my dear brother once I pull him out of prison. Well, we just switch tables again. Okay. Well, that's it, my captain. We have exchanged stories. Time to call it a night. I was hoping for a different ending to the evening. The night is not over yet. I suggest a game. If you play your cards right, perhaps your prayers will be answered. You're going to play cards? I will. What? Easy there, Sea Wolf. I won't play strip poker with you. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Helen. We don't have privacy here. That's not the only thing we don't have, Charles. It's not a card game, but don't worry, I bet you're a master at it. I never heard of it. Okay. Familiar. Walk the past life. And do you often play it? Always wanted to try it, but had no one to play it. Oh. Okay. Mm. Are we alone yet? Is it a pretty bold game for our first shared treat? Are you sure? By the way, where is everyone? Are we alone here? Send them all home. No need to let outsiders over here. No, it always ends badly, Opa. Ah, you know what? YOLO. Too bad, but maybe you are right. Another treat then? Let's start, ladies first. I have arranged it. The room upstairs is yours. It was occupied by some important French officer, but the forest devil's boys politely asked him to vacate the place. Go get some shot eye. 
I won't send you on to the speed. Or worse yet, go out in this heat, this condition. Yes, ma'am. What? I thought we were going to play something? What an evening. Why did I listen to her? Brother was right. The girls here are completely different. Maybe they add something to the rope? Time to sleep. And then to Cartagena. Wait. Holy moly, what is that? Oh my god. Oh no. I can't open my inventory and it's quiet. Literally quiet, it's too quiet. Let's walk down. Uh. I found a whip, that's probably just a coincidence. Should I be afraid? Is it a dream? Where is everyone? I should see Jan and apologize. Oh my god! Okay! What's with the music? The guide did not cover this at all. Why? And Swenson's house. Why do we hear Mr. Bean music? Okay, nothing to open here. Skeleton? No. Um. Well, you got some news to make my day, buddy. I don't even know what he's saying. Jan, don't shout at me. Let's sort things out like reasonable people. Remember, we have business to conduct. I set my dogs on you right now, you toad. Forget about the Vasur and get lost. Jan, listen to me. Uh. Uh. What is happening? Who was that? That's a big church. Emilia? In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Come in, my son. Disappear! What kind of nightmare is this? What is happening? Am I dreaming? Disappear yourself. We should have met already, but you're dragging everything out. Why did you come to the church? To repent for your sins? Or are you after the red-haired one? Did you see her too? She caught my eye. I won't bother you with details, silly, but I'll tell you this. You are fated to be a great person. You will bring about... Is that the Manga Rosa lady? Uh, you will bring about much evil, yet much more good. But happiness is not guaranteed to you. Happiness... Happiness, my falcon, is given only to those who walk their path and do not turn aside. And a faithful woman will help you not to turn aside. You will have two of them. And both will bring happiness, but you need to choose the fair-haired one. Why would that be? I'll decide for myself. Fair-haired? Like the... like... Helen? Is that fair-haired? Like hair-colored? Of course, choose for yourself, but the fair-haired one is better. We decided it that way. Who is we? The unfortunate one doesn't even know her true name. Call it and she'll be yours. So it is said. I under—I uh, don't understand anything more anymore. 
Is it knocking? Open and make no mistake. See, someone is knocking. Come in. An item. What the fish just happens? Morning, Garage. How did you sleep, Monsieur? With MacArthur so ordered us to ensure your full comfort. I had a very strange dream. Ah! What's the matter, mademoiselle? Can I help you with something? I'm sorry, Captain. It's a sin, but I can't resist. I'm not very experienced, but don't deny the gold, Captain. Your hands. Uh oh. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Uh. The power of God compels you! No hand touching! No, 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 no! No, no, no! I want to please you to touch, indeed, full comfort. You're also very beautiful. Come on. It's better not to touch me right now, mademoiselle. I reek of rum, but you can please me. Breakfast would be very welcome. Rude. No breakfast then? I think that what she said mm -hmm. is rude, actually. Let's go. What was that sapphire ring? Like, holy moly. Now I'm afraid to re Oh. There is no ring? Okay, what is happening? Oh. How right my brother was about the local ladies. Rumba knows how to party and she is truly an amazing young woman. Major beyond her years. A born sailor far... A born sailor far superior to me. Despite her openness last night, I couldn't shake the feeling that complex and conflicting emotions were overwhelming her throughout the evening. That's only natural given what she's recently been through. Honestly, I'm already quite taken with her. Also, I'm not sure if my feelings are mutual or even appropriate. Oh Gott, die Musik. <lacht> ah, oh, What is happening? Keep on going the way you want. Hey, Monsieur, Mr. Svensson requested that you spare a bit of your time for him. Damn, this doesn't bode well. I'll try, but no promises. Okay, seriously. What? Is this new story content? Or. Wait, let me check the patches. Maybe that isn't covered by the guide because. Uh, the guide just simply didn't. Well. Because it didn't exist back then. Yet maybe it came with a new patch? I don't know, is this a new, like, character quest line, side quest line patch? One of the changes. Quest break to connect the server available. Quick seat transition to the final boss. Okay. The Roger the brilliant ultra can be the global map. Aha, thanks to Joy Roger. Sounds fixed over fifty bucks. Let's go ahead and nice my purchase. Blah blah blah. blah. I'll give you attention to so the game is selling very well. I'm glad we're not sure it's going to be fun. At least, story. What's new? Story. So, since we're going to be in quest region, ship is not snake. So, in quest three is a crowd, especially in event with all steam achievements. Tell you about the ship. Hmm. 
I don't see anything about this. Uh huh. Quests. It's quests and progress. Huh, that is interesting because the guide doesn't cover this at all. Maybe it's new. Okay, I'm drunk and maybe in. Uh, in problems. Or in danger. Not in problems, in danger problems. Do you have Helen drinking not fire? Okay. Ah, you're again. Thank you, Mrs. Swenson. Uh huh. Swenson. Well, you ah, got Charles, some thanks for coming by. Just wanted to thank you for spending time with Helen. The girl needed to heal her wounds. And I heard you also had a good time. Haha, <laughs> good luck to you in Cartagena. Yeah, I'm also glad that everything went well yesterday until we meet again, Jan. Ah, that's it. I guess it was all right to be in the tavern. Uh, okay. Say hello again. Ah, Captain. Yeah, you are always welcome, you are in, our always home. welcome in this household. Yeah. Are you here for Helen? I'm afraid she locked herself in her room. Must be exhausted from the last few days. Don't worry, it happens to her sometimes. Really? Are you sure she's okay? I think this time she's just overworked herself. She told me everything, Captain. Thank you for helping her choose a new ship yesterday. Huh? Um, you're welcome. Good, good, goodbye, Miss MacArthur. Mrs. Okay. Let's load. Let's do everything again, but this time we say, uh, stranger danger, no one inside the room. You know? Like no one inside the tavern. And stuff. Ah, Captain. Uh -huh. You are uh -huh. always welcome in this household. Mm. Hello? Ah, lol. Gimme, gimme. What? I can't take it. Why? My can pepper, hello. Ah, uh, my cousin, baby, must delay our conversation. I mean, you guys. I'm gonna provide the safe for me under the. Ah, what do you mean? I didn't stop by. Mm hmm. And what would you like to say? Is this a date? I have to go past her. Nadar, come a little closer. Mom, if I can, the same thing. I'm not going to take it. Mm -hmm. So let's not equip it and uh, talk with her again. But this time we choose a different uh, dialogue option at the at the end. You promised mm -hmm. to tell me something very important. Ah, let's say this, baby. My father insisted on being with us. He took care of me with a letter of accommodation, but he never made it to the city. And I just became an artist. Ah, the, you! An artist! Ah, ha, ha, ha. So the beauty and pride of the English fleet. The red. Ah, lol. So the beauty and pride of the English fleet. The rape is just a son of a bitch donor. When died at the hands of a Parisian artist? Ah, too bad you didn't buy your pristine jabot for the boarding that didn't beat us to come with a K. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate. The jabot just happened to be in the, in the wash that day. Last. 
Well, thanks, Charles. I don't know how the rest of tonight will go, but the evening has already been great. I might even allow you to paint my portrait. But mind you, not in the same style you painted your Parisian girls. Ah, that is if I agree to paint you. Excuse me, my captain, listening about your adventures in the life of noble courtesans of both sexes. Shark me I never believed that you could be with me in your time. I never seen it like that money. You would have some wife and table. I had other pursuits. I come to the line with a good service, but not to have a fun water and escape to a powerful open cars. I would have a glass of drink. Yeah, X, the short X, the next problem. The armor had a sword and relaxed me properly, okay. And that's it. So there's still something in you, my captain. Something, uh, yeah. Aye, aye, my captain. Who are we saving today? Yeah, then. No one. Ship right, da 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 now, how about your friend in this evening? You just show us how to call it night. Night is not over yet, it's just a game. You have to wait for answer. And now, what a fit. Oh, this way, where is it from? I'm alone here. Uh, now it all sounds badly over. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, it's scripted. We've received an item. I found a sapphire ring. Interesting. Oh, so silent. I love... The whip is also scripted. Okay. Is it a dream? Where is everyone? I should see Jan and apologize. Interesting. Our second stream this week, by the well, way. Well, you got some news to make my day, I know, buddy. I know. I thought, forget about it, I was going to get lost. And listen to me. Fair haired one. Is it, is it Helen to the left? I like the outfit on the right. Let's go to her. Oh, hello. Okay. Talk. Good morning, my friend. The reception has not started yet. Wait in line, please. Disappear. What kind of nightmare is this? What is happening? Am I dreaming? Disappear yourself. We should have met already, but you are dragging everything out. Come here, I'll praise you. Didn't go after the red-haired one to the church. Good boy. Okay. Getting praised is nice, especially if it's clear what for. Did you see her too? She caught my eye. I won't bother you with details, silly. But I'll tell you this. You are fated to be a great person. You will bring about much evil, yet much more good. But happiness is not guaranteed to you. Happiness, my falcon, is given only to those who walk the path and do not turn aside. And a faithful woman will help you not to turn aside. You will have two of them, and both will bring happiness, but you need to choose the fair-haired one. Why would that be? I'll decide for myself. Of course, choose for yourself, but the fair-haired one is better. We decided it that way. Who is we? The unfortunate one doesn't even know her true name. Call it and she'll be yours, so it is said. I don't understand anything anymore. Is that knocking? Open and make no mistake. Indeed, someone is knocking. Come in. Make no mistake. Okay. 
Wait, is she the fair-haired one? Monica Rich. How did you sleep, Monsieur? Uh, Monsi. Uh, yes, yes, Monsieur. Miss McArthur ordered us to ensure your full comfort. It's a very strange dream. Ah, what's the matter, Mademoiselle? Can I help you with something? I can't resist. I can't experience, but you don't deny. Keep your hands on. I want to be to touch. I mean, we load it. So let's do some science. What happens if we say that? Oh my, oh my. Yeah, okay, it's very straightforward. And our diary got updated. And she just disappeared. Wow. What does fair hat even mean? Umba. Oh, how right my brother was about the local ladies. Um, have I heard this music before? Oh, the eyes are glowing. I noticed it just now. Does it mean I'm evil? Um, what does fair haired one even mean? Definition fair haired. Yeah, it's having blonde hair. Ah, favorite position was the fair haired child. The blonde. Okay. Not here. So the blonde, okay. Why was there as a fire ring and a whip? All questions go to the officer. Mm. Ah, the music sounds different because I'm drunk. Charles, Mutt I've already started to miss you. Okay, Lord. Let's equip the amulet. Ah, Captain, you are always welcome in this household. Mm. No items here this time. Okay. Hi. Uh, you said you said you. What? What if I say this? Wait. Are you really that busy? Too bad. But I understand. I'll find something else to buy. To busy myself. I can't do my own. I'm just right here. I have no patience here. Okay. Nothing. We just skip, skip that, okay. Notes. Hmm. Sorry if I'm wasting time or something. Uh, I'm just curious because this part is not covered by the guide. Ah, Captain. You are always welcome in this household. But okay, I mean, if the lady in my dream says to choose... Uh, her, I guess we will do that. Hi. Yep. Mm. This is it. Mm. Oh, ladies first, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Bye, we are going outside to play. Hold up, Captain. What are you rushing on to? Mm. Don't damage vitality. Oh, okay. This cup runs back not when trying healing potions. Don't damage vitality. That's actually good, I think.
Go! And that's how we met. Which is all, I guess. I get a certain as well. And other boots. And that's it, there's still something in your camp. I can't do that. 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 Baby, 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 Easy as he was the one place to focus on. It's a pretty important game for our first chat trick. Are you sure? Yes, after these events, I need to live it. Do something foolish, you know? Let's start, ladies first. Ah, Hank, he's just starting. Careful, darling. I've never chased rats in the hole. So that's how it is. Gotta be on guard with you. Drinks. Oh, just a member of that. Well, brace yourself, handsome. I've never fallen from the yards. Great. Nice one. Allow me, mademoiselle, to drink to you. Drinks. Okay. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, hey, oh. I've never been superstitious. And you call yourself a sailor. You know very well what kind of people we are. Never know what the voyage will bring, don't know when and where you will see land, if at all. You have to seek answers beyond maps and navigation tools. For your health, tricks. And the girls you painted in person, did they like the results? They didn't always like the paintings, but, um... The results? Always. Charles, if you had met back then, I would have shot you or taken you hostage for ransom. And by the way, I have never taken up brushes. Hey, well, that's completely banal. Dear Helen, if I start listing things you have never taken up. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll play fair. Your move, my captain. I never had my models hit me on the head with a pistol whip. Oh God! <laughs> we are tricky, trick, trick, chuck, 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 chuck. Sips, we're playing this game wrong here. I thought we'd be drinking and getting to know each other, but instead we're exchanging barbs and and pick. Damn. Let's make it more interesting. And preferably something not from what we were talking about an hour ago. I've never woken up in an un unfamiliar place after a shrieking spree. Never woken up in a oh, okay. I, I can't believe it. I, I confess. Guilty. The little Roomba used to hit the bottom. But I've never been in prison. How did you... Ha 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 ha! Tweak, tweak! I'll record this. Tweaks. Loop, 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 loop. I'm thirsty myself. Well, not really, but I should drink. <sighs> the music! Okay, well. Come on, my dear! The last question is the last chance to outplay me. No, oh, I... Let's get some fresh air. I have often drunk, but never like this. I've never gotten so drunk with a girl. I swear on my... God, to drinking this truly a great sin. Did, did Fady gave me tips on how to drink? Okay, but wait, you are not drinking. Ha ha ha, that's hilarious. You have a high aim, my cap. Let it be, hick. No, no to you. Should that Okay, she slightly slipped. Uh, wait, she slightly slipped into Russian. Should 
that I have the misfortune of living in an all male crew and I have to behave carefully. I am an honest girl. I am uh, uh, happy for you, H Helen. You will be even happier because I won. But to be honest, I've never gotten so drunk with the guy either. <laughs> Well, I'm not wearing an amulet or something, no. Silently takes the drink to, to you. Congratulations. Hick. Hey, 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 Cap. Where are you going? Offended, perhaps? I need a break? Just going to find my sword. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. You promised to tell me something very important. Oh God, her voice sounds so much deeper. Very important. Now the time trunk. Cap, are you ready? There's no turning back, and if anything goes wrong, I'll make you marry me. Oh, uh oh. Phew! Let me at least catch some fresh air. Are you sure about this? Oh, oh. It was a date. Oh no. <laughs> uh, can I save? Uh, you should put the set in. Yes, damn it, and don't stand there like a pole. I need to lose myself, even if it's just for one night. I'm afraid after this night, I'll be the one wanting to lose myself. Let's go before we wake up the whole town. Um, just in case it switches to the next scene. Oh, never mind. You have received an item. Oh! Promise to tell me something very I don't important. like the voice. I don't like the voice. Oh, oh I don't like the voice. Well, important. It's like... Oh, a deep-voiced woman, like, trying to flirt with me. Oh. Uh. Cap, take the key and go upstairs. There should be a chest. You probably saw it when Swenson had it. Grab the barrel and head back immediately. Hold on, dear. Why do I have to rob your boss? Oh, that is what's happening. Okay. Okay. Don't be silly. I've been here since childhood. If the owners return, I can handle it and cover for you. Come on, don't lower yourself now. Sharp as a knife, a true smuggler. Hang on, I'll be quick. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, this is an unexpected turn. Apparently, we are doing some shenanigans while shrunk. <laughs> like two little children. <laughs> Wait, no. Children should not shrink, people. I got a key or something. Yes? Yes, complex key. A key for complex rocks. This one, okay. Now, fair enough. Oh, casket of Irish whiskey. Oh no, I know exactly what is happening. <laughs> We are nicking alcohol. Casket of Irish whiskey. A wooden casket containing. A casket containing several bottles of fine Bushmills Irish whiskey distilled in Dublin town. Okay. Yo ho 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 ho. Jan Svensson's house. Oh yeah. Wait. Wait. Ah, they, oh my god, I didn't see her at all. Aye, aye, my captain. It? You bet. Not the first chest I've saving emptied, today. and certainly not the last. I'm proud of you. Haha. <laughs> first rate Irish whiskey. Bushmills. Wait, was I supposed to steal the doubloon chests? Did I trigger something? Bushmills, they won't serve us such a drink with the tavern. Sounds good, but won't Vince notice it's missing? He'll definitely notice, but he doesn't drink it himself. He seems to have saved, saved it as a gift for his pirate buddy Dodson. Dodson either disappeared or killed someone. 
That's terrible. Such a gift absolutely must not go to waste. Grab the barrel and let's change the scenery. <laughs> well said, Cap. One more thing through. Tell me, did you take anything else from the chest? Answer honestly. Yes, I did. Took something. A habit, you know. I'm not sure if I'm a pirate, but I'm definitely not a thief. <laughs> yes. Took something. A habit, you know. Go and make sure you didn't take anything for some reason. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, a, a, a habit. Oops. Excuse me. Uh, sorry and goodbye. Ah. You promised to tell me something nice very Go and make important. sure you didn't take anything for some reason. Uh, oh my god, she was yelling? Oh, her voice while being drunk sounds so deep. I thought, I thought a man is dying on the streets. Ah, get out of here, you scoundrel. How many times have I told you not to climb into my house? And who is this? Ma'am, we are already acquainted. Monsieur de Maurey? Well, that's just lovely. Is this how you conduct business with my husband? I knew it. I warrant you, someday... This hussy will start leading her men astray. And what do you have in your hands? You promised to tell me something very important. Please stop it. You are the hussy yourself. Be glad Jan made an honest woman out of you, or you'd still be spreading your legs for every passerby. Damn! She got roasted. What? How, how dare you, wretch! You're not going anywhere! My husband will be here any moment now and he'll teach you how to talk to the elders. Aye aye, my captain! Oh. Who are we saving today? Lol. <laughs> let's go with shenanigans. Harlot, let's go, Charles! <laughs> oh. What are we doing here? Lol. Wait, did we just knock out every crew member here? <laughs> I like Will, with knocking out, knocking out with alcohol, I mean. Hey, hey, darling, focus. My face, kissed by the sea breeze, is right here. Oh god, really? Phew. Well, you cost humor something. You must have saved a lot of money on sewing material. <laughs> and I, Hick, I've seen a lot. But this, but this is the best thing I've seen. Oh god. I guess... Yeah, I like I said, I think I understand the males. Okay, anyway. Everyone says that, but for some reason. I believe you. Do you really like it? Oh god, are you really talking about this? Well, of course. It very favorably accentuates your figure. Also, oh, we are throwing intellectual words around. Accentuate your figure, okay. Also, oh, now you have ruined everything. Also, I have no doubt that among the regular folk, it inspires all. Oh, well, Charles can be... Yeah, hey, Charles knows how to use his tongue. Either very uh, wholesome and uh, complimentary, or very rude and threatening, you know? He has a twin-splitted tongue. A silver tongue, so to say. I have no doubt that among the regular folk, it inspires all. Or something like that, I don't know. I'm rather in awe of this weird widespread habit among the common and not so common folk to wear dense European clothing in such heat. Oh my god, you are right! I forgot about the weather. That makes our villagers look even more comical. I like my outfit, Charles. In it, I feel beautiful and that's important for a woman. Fair enough. You would remain just as beautiful without that outfit. Oh, damn! Charles, you are slimy. Careful, my captain. Saying such sweet, sweet... Saying such sweet things may corrupt a poor girl. If she's not against it, then I'm not gonna... Then I'm not against it. <laughs> Better ask me about something else. I like it when you get inquisitive. Fun fact, I played a Sith Inquisitor in Star Wars. Does it count? Is it? 
Ah, it's your scarf on your hip. I, I thought, I was wondering for a second, is that her sword hanging on her hip? But no. No, it's a scarf, I think. Or belt, I don't know. Then let's squeeze in a question about your costume. I don't believe that sea dogs can take a captain seriously in such attire. I don't believe that sea dogs in general can see a woman as a captain, so my outfit probably didn't add to my problems. Or maybe it didn't have time to add since it's a new thing. I suited myself. Oh, okay. Cool. No, really, respect for uh, craftsmanship. Ah, <laughs> I used to wear one of those. What are they called? Our military still wears them. Ah, so. Seeing one of those makes me feel sick. Uniforms? Oh, exactly. A uniform. A red uniform. Like that guy's wearing. Or that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Or that. Okay. Oh, that guy. Isaac Hulburg. What's happening here? Miss MacArthur, I had great respect for your father, and Mrs. Swenson is our friend. But don't you remember how it all ended last time? Oh. I guess she's a little bit wild. More adventurous? More like adventurous. It's disappointing, Officer Sword. Disappointing! You could have invited us. Oh my god! <laughs> Ey! Ehrenmann! What the bro! You promised to tell me something oh no, very stop it. important. Oh, I'm sorry, Major. Let me treat you to some fine Irish whiskey as an hick apology. Thank you for your hospitality, Miss MacArthur. Let me say that we are all very glad to see you back. What happened is a great mystery, but it's not surprising that the town knows about it. Still, I can promise you that no one will gossip. I offer my sincere apologies for the recent behavior of one of our captains. Exactly. Let that be a lesson to everyone and to everyone's crew who supports such an action. Uh, one of our captains. And I want to thank you specifically, Mr. De Maure. Please don't puke on his boots. Aye, aye, my captain. Who uh, are we saving today? Charles won't get in trouble, will he, Major? Tell me you won't. Pretty please? Uh, pretty please. Everything will be fine, Miss. Mr. De Maure, I'll be frank. Despite Donovan acting like a true scoundrel and bandit, the fleet will never openly condemn him. More likely, they'll even defend him. Your little expedition made it into the reports and significantly complicated relations between our countries. Nevertheless, considering Mr. Svensson's influence, as well as the remarkable concessions made to you by Capstable, you have nothing to fear. Mr. Svensson's influence, as well as the remarkable concessions made to you by Capstable. Ah! Uh, the point C. Yes. I have nothing to fear. That's splendid. I say we drink to that. I think he just defended us. You so promised that we... to tell me something very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he... Uh, the point C, that Gamma no guy, I think he defended us so that we may still be able to, to fulfill our quest, I guess. I'm so glad. Let's drink. What are you we doing? You promised to tell me oh something <laughs> very important. Lol, okay, that is... That, that is fun, buddy. Ah, oh, my throat. <clears throat> we are traveling all around the islands, and now we are inside... Wait, there is a... Indian village? Here? Oops. Look what I've got. Helen, are you planning to use that... To lift your spirits? Don't even think about it. Natura can completely overcome a person, train their strength, crush their will. Before you know it, you're a living corpse, and then very quickly a dead one. Charles, but right now? No buts. I'm sorry for being harsh, but this is no joke. I'm taking this away from you. Can't believe what you were thinking. Here, drink, drink this and step out of it. Natura, okay. I'm sorry, Charles. You're absolutely right, I know. A momentary weakness. It won't happen again. Thanks for saving me from this devil's temptation. Oh my god. Yeah, this is... 
Yeah, quite the adventure here. Let's forget about it. Now, tell me, how did you manage to earn respect in the town, maintain good relations with the garrison officers and befriend the natives? They respect Svensson, and some of it spills over to me. Our little town survives solely on Jan Steels. He shares a portion of... We are in Blue Belt, I forgot. There is maybe a plant... Uh, uh, maybe a village somewhere on the mainland. <coughs> little town survives solely on Jan Steels. He shares a portion of the profits from his cocoa plantations with the redcoats, and the mosquito owe him the entire livelihood. How did that happen? When the Castilians were in charge, they didn't bother the Indians much, but after they kicked out the noble Hidalgos, our folks decided to take control of the local forests. Jan resolved the matter quite decisively back then, even sent people to London. Of course, not out of, not out of the goodness of his heart. Extracting cocoa in a forest where every bush hates you is a hopeless venture. But now the Indians don't only help Jan smuggle from Portobello <laughs> to Blue Belt, but also cut down their own forests for a pittance. Bravo, Forest Devil! Bravo! Ah! It sounds like you don't entirely approve of his methods. I love and respect the mosquito people, but I also respect Jan's strategy. He don't live in a fairy tale, my captain. Hmm. I see your relationship with Svensson is more complicated than it seems at first glance. And he's just happy to be here. <laughs> Even more than you know. His wife has a good reason to be venomous towards me. Jan has been eyeing me since I was about 15. Okay. It was around the time I started walking the decks of the rainbow as an equal, and apparently something clicked in the forest devil's mind back then. But I have said too much, my captain. Let's not delve into this topic. Gossiping about our patron is not very decent. <clears throat> oh, I need more water. <clears throat> oh my god. Ah. <clears throat> then let's change the subject. I meant to say that you clearly fit into this company, and they consider you one of their own. It just so happened that it's much easier for me to be in the company of Indians, Gypsies and other decent misfits. Mobs, youth, beach, bonfires and the rainbow's gangway. I've built myself a cozy little world, Captain. Too bad it all came crashing down just when I thought I had everything figured out. <clears throat> the barrel is almost empty. One last round. Our dockyards are the envy of all our companions. Oh no. Oh no. What are we doing here? Mark Cooper, now we are inside the shipyard. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, I think I know what may have happened just now. A worthy choice, sir. So, is it a deal? Y yes. Cheers, wrap it up and send to the pier and make it quick. A lady is waiting for me on the street. 50,000 silver for everything, sir. Uh, how much did you say? 50,000? Well, count it yourself and take another 5,000 as a tip. Let's go. Oh, no, no. I may be rich. I may be a rich hick guy, but I won't take it for that much. No, so farewell, Boatman. Ah, YOLO, let's go. 55,000 pesos spent. Thank you, sir. May she serve you well. Did I just buy a ship? Aye aye, my captain. And we Who are we saving today? And we parted through the whole night. <laughs> Classic. And I'm not wearing a helmet right now, even. Interesting. It's so good. I'm glad you agreed to spend time with me, Captain. I really needed it. I believe you did too. It was fun, actually. Yes, it's been a minute since I have relaxed like this. It'll be something to remember. You probably think Devil knows what about uh, so you probably think devil knows what about me right now. I'm a very closed off person by nature, Charles. I just Damn. I just wanted to feel alive. Just wanted to talk to someone. What about Gladys? Jan All Mom does is crying, and Jan seems like a different person now. Maybe I'm imagining things, I don't know. But it's like he's ashamed of me now. Uh, forgive I <laughs> That's enough, old girl. 
sorry, I, I got a little carried away. No need to apologize. I understand everything. Or at least I think I do. I'm saying all this because we've only just met and I'm not used to being so open even with those I've known for a long time. They call me Roomba. Ostensibly for my character, but as you can see, it's a misnomer. Is the booth all gone? A while ago. And dawn is already breaking. <gasps> There's a treasure chest. Then thank you for the evening, Captain. Who knows, maybe we'll do it again. Of course, Helen. Well, at least I'm free. <laughs> okay, this is just peak comedy. With needles, excuse me kindly. So what about the job? Are you still here? And who is he, if I may ask? Dear yes, sir, where else can I go? Just went to relieve myself, overheard your sentimental conversation and got a bit warmed up. Emotionally, I mean. Good lord. Well, since I gave you my word, it can't be helped. Go, take him on. Wait, did I... Hello, Mr. Quip. Goodbye, Mr. Quip. Did I just buy him a ship? Or something? Oh my god, did I just... Fix someone's life while being drunk? Go, take command. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait, did I just... Hire him? Did I just hire... <laughs> did I just hire a... Oh, wow. Did I just hire a... A beggar? Or something? Oh, we are dreaming again. Sapphire ring. This must be the butterfly effect ring or something. I think this is a sign. Yep. And the whip is gone. So I guess... What does it mean? Uh, that we haven't enslaved her or we will not hurt her? That definitely means no pain, I think. Is this a dream? Where's everyone? I should see Jan and apologize. Okay. I like this quest. It takes a little bit of time now, but I think it's... It's very okay. So, is Jan still angry at me? Can I still not open anything? Okay. Ah, no required key. Hello. Charles, Jan, what, don't... what chance? I've already started to miss you. Okay. Jan, don't shout at me. Let's sort things out like reasonable people. Remember, we have business to conduct. I set my dogs on you right now, you toad. Forget about Levasseur and get lost. Jan, listen to me. Okay. Hello. Good morning, my falcon. The reception has not yet had, has not started yet. Wait in line, please. Disappear. What kind of nightmare is this? What is happening? Am I dreaming? Disappear yourself. We should have bed already, but you're dragging everything out. Come here, I'll praise you. Then go after the redhead haired one to the church. Good boy. Did you see her too? She caught my eye. I won't bore you with details, silly, but I'll tell you this. You are fated to be a great person. You can happiness Okay. Okay. Why would that be? Who is we? The unfortunate one doesn't even know her true name. Call it and she'll be yours. So it is said. I don't understand anything anymore. Here's that knocking. Open and make no mistake. Okay. Indeed, someone is knocking. Come in. How did you sleep, mon... Uh, yeah. Monsieur, Miss MacArthur ordered us to ensure your full comfort. I had a very strange dream. Ah, what's the matter, mademoiselle? Can I help you with something? Uh, handsome. Nope, 
Wenn du nein, 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 Rico fragen, du kannst nicht mehr. Breakfast would be very welcome. Gut, no breakfast then. Interesting. This game has this story overall. The story has or can have more death than so many other games nowadays. Oh, right now my oh how right was my oh. Oh, how right my brother was about the local ladies. Rumba knows how to party and she's truly an amazing young woman. Made sure beyond her years, a born sailor far superior to me. Despite her openness last night, I couldn't shake the feeling that complex and conflicting emotions were overwhelming her throughout the evening. That's only natural given what she's recently been through. Honestly, I'm already quite taken with her, also I'm not sure if my feelings are mutual or even appropriate. I think I like her. I think I like the music more when it's quiet and when I'm trying. Oh, there's a bit now. Okay. Oh, la, 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 la. Ah, it's you. Take a rest. Yes, So that was the battle, okay? Even power. Monsieur, Mr. Svensson requested that you spare a bit of your time for him. Damn, it doesn't work well. I'll try, but no promises. Wait. Hold up, Captain. What are you rushing off to? Okay. You want? Oh la la, I think we're going to be having some fun. Can you listen? You're going to lose it. You, you are going to lose a lot soon, my Falcon, but don't despair. I hope for yourself. Seek help from your friends. Yes, you are going to lose a lot soon, my Falcon, but don't despair and hope for yourself. Seek help from your friends. Oh, really? Are you serious? Well, I remember that. That is much more. Helen, that is much more different than. What those, uh, what are they called? What, what the fortune tellers told me in the past. Hello. Car! And a good health to you too, Mrs. Svensson. Oops. Well, well you ah, got Charles, to make my day, thanks buddy. for coming by. I just wanted to thank you for spending time with Helen. The girl needed needed to heal her wounds, and I heard you also had a good time. Haha! <laughs> Damn, I'm even jealous. You're not upset about the barrel and everything else. What barrel? As for Helen, I'll be sure to give her a good whooping. Just kidding, Charles. Just kidding. I know how it goes. And as for Joanna, this story will hopefully make her think a little. He's been especially cranky lately, and, uh, cranky lately, you know. Well, such is life. Anyway, good luck to you in Cartagena. Until we meet again, Jan. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Interesting. I'm happy with everything here. How about so... you? We spent two days here. One day celebrating or partying and one day sleeping. Ah, Captain. Captain, you are always, you welcome, are always in our welcome home. in this household. Yeah, yeah. Are you here for Helen? I'm afraid she locked herself in her room. Must be exhausted from the last few days. Don't worry, it, won't, it happens to her sometimes. Really? Are you sure she's okay? I think this time she just overworked herself. She told me everything, Captain. 
Thank you for helping her choose a new ship yesterday. Huh? Hmm. You're welcome. Goodbye, Miss. Mrs. MacArthur. Oh God, right. I think I bought her a ship. <laughs> As, ha, I actually hired hired the baker with needles. Level one. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> well, I guess okay. Um, let's turn you into a proper sailor or something. What can I do with you? Can I talk to you? Lol. Is he in uh, is he immortal? Oh right, wait. Well, let's go to Cartagena then. I think this part of the mission was new just now because it that was a lot and it wasn't covered in the guide. I'm now working on a timeline and I get to complete this entire quest, so you can be no more putting around. Hanging around Blueberry, so you might want to go. Chirik Rikaf. Where is Chirik Rikaf, by the way? Of San Juan de Norte Island, the Chiriqui, I don't know. Probably this one here. Okay, anyway. Um, so, that's part one, second half. Land in, land in Cartagena, and you can do one of two things. You can go to the town and ask about Henry, but this will lead you astray. Be hunting down a random guy and killing him for no good reason because he gets scared and sexy. So, that you can hunt down Enrique. He'll be waiting, walking around town looking like a pirate. All one eyed and dark skin, say the right thing to him, but more often. We'll sell you an to tenderly information regarding Henry. Similar similar sword to his own in town. There is a similar sword to his own in town, owned by one Alvarez, lighthouse keeper. The option, in my opinion, is to go to the church, order a prayer service for a special lady that passed away, Chica Gonzalez, Henry's mother. Hydra is surprised that there is a second person in Cartagena that would order a prayer service for that woman. Alvarez, the lighthouse keeper, does that every month. Ah! Okay, give him a thousand pesos for the prayers. Yes, that is who we are looking for. Coincidentally, I need to pick up an amulet from old Alvarez. Oh, okay. Talk to him about Butcher, Jackman, and Talon. He will give you an interesting tale. As he doesn't like believe Butcher is dead for some reason. Pensions, execution, attentions. It's not relevant yet. He was supposed to deliver some gold from Butcher to his daughter Helen. Is a pirate's ring as proof of who it came from. Station proves too much for Alvarez. A cold side point of view. You won't be needing the same for this man soon. Oh! Okay, so the best option. Okay. See, again, we almost uh, messed up. 
again, I think, I mean, I don't know. Is that already missing up? Anyway, uh, according to the guide, the better option, in my opinion, is to go to the church. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, Cartagena. The city that I raised from... Uh, <laughs> from the face of the earth. <laughs> oopsie, oopsie. Okay. Atlas. Alright. Okay. Um. A long boat? Rainbow? What is... What happened? Wine and rum. What am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> I, I suddenly have a ship. Okay. Uh, rainbow. Okay. What are you rushing off to? Okay. Uh, what happened yesterday? Our dockyards are the end of all our competitors. of peace. All these rascals would go stay. Must insist. I am not a woman. Heaven. By the way, I'm watching the mission tools. Can you help me? Can't help you. It's a shame. Uh, I just wanted to talk. I have questions about yesterday. I mean, what just happened? And it's healthy ship. Um, but seriously, what just happened? Uh, let's pull off the cannons. I I I have to check. Uh rain bow. That's it. I'm I'm at a loss here. Uh, what do I do with the beggar and 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 the ship? There's only one rainbow here, and that's yeah. Yeah. Rainbow. Hmm. What do I do with him now? Like, seriously, can I talk to him or something? Moist toy is at your service. Boat full of wine and rum. Why?
I need a new pillow. With needles. Can I google his name? Uh, with ne... Nope. Nope. Caribbean legend with needles. Here's an animal that also can't use skins. Here's an animal that also can't use skins. Title. Um. This equip no person and won't go for double and quad barreled. On my hand, I've managed to equip double barreled. They have all skills for guns. Probably they have different weapons. Equip them in my arsenal. I guess they have. Double one. Okay, now. It did the Rumba quest and paid the ship freight. So I have written needles instead of Fernand as an officer and she has. What about she has here? Yeah, look. And she. Look, what about she has her own ship now? Did I just permanently remove Fernand from my crew and force her to love interest? It did I also did this quest right after excluding Helen. I haven't even met Mary yet. Is this quest supposed to be accessible after I have the two as officers? Uh, Mary Serrette had apparently been legend gave her an overhaul. Mary isn't the obvious choice anymore. Can you confirm if I screwed up and it's not? What you did is fine. Helen will you join you later. Steph made a little adjustment on Quest. Playing ship fight with a small rainbow ship will give you an achievement if you assign Helen as its captain at the end of Pirate Saga. Oh, I think. Makes sense. I I already had the idea to just moor it somewhere, you know, with with needles inside. So I guess that is what I needed for. In combat, has only affect steam achievement. If you want to choose Helen, you need to do the same as you did in the previous version. If you use gifts, call her family name. Oh no, not Helen. Is she the red hair one? Helen's the blonde and Mary's the red hair. I don't know, I went to a previous save and reviewed the ship and went only for Helen not to join as well. I realized after loading again and saving a week in the rainbow ship. Joins later. Okay, so this is just for a Steam achievement? Wait a second, Roomba. Roomba. Nope. Hm. Okay. Okay, I guess we have just to moor it somewhere then. Honestly, why not do it here in Blue Belt? Okay, let's switch over to part two. Yes. And Katagena, you can do one of two things. Yeah, let's go to Katagena and talk to the church guy. Okay, let's buy him some his medicine. Oh, 
Then I guess food, so that he doesn't starve. Or maybe not. Rainbow, okay. Uh, I guess it's more of the ship here. In Blue Welt, you know? I am here. Okay, hello, you're not in Ohms. I want to talk to you. And I met you so as Chance Marie. Do you have any ships I can take? Or can like to more one. Uh, more. Uh, yeah. Long boat rainbow. Let's take a look at the ship. Fine. One class 6 mooring cost is 274 pesos per month. Payment is 100. Lol. That's it. Right, you can take your ship back anytime you need. Thanks. Ah! Lol. Okay. Stretch. I'll be back in a moment. Rainbow with needles. So to cast the Gena, we go. After I sold the ship, got damage. Sorry for saying god damn it, I'm saying that a lot quite recently. Uh Yes. <clears throat> our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. It's a me, your preferred customer. First the cannons. Hmm. Now the ships. Oh, 18 people, yes, of course. Our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. Zero, zero, okay, sell. Abutus. Our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. Longboat reserve, wow. It's safe. So. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I fast travel? Cape Perlas. One moment. Cape Perlas. Too far away, okay. Oh, 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 let's not forget. All hail España. Okay, a fort of Portobello. Yes, hello. Oh, hello. Um.
Bello. Wolf Del Darien. Ja, Karte geht er. Hallo, I have returned. Ja, yeah, still ein bisschen kennen. Du sagst, remember me. It's our responsibility to be on guard. Why are you not doing your office? I'm just going to ask you to say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Don't be wasting my time, Captain. Okay, um, let's go to church. Barry is very jealous. Is that a warning? Huh. You must be Jesus. Who are you? Are you Noah? I don't know. Huh? Welcome to our holy abode, my son. Hello, holy father. I'll bless you and your affairs if you've come to me for a particular reason. I want to order a prayer service for the peace of the soul of one lady. I will humbly carry out your will for a thousand pesos. Here you go, father. Please take these coins. Humbly for a thousand pesos. Okay. Thank you, my son. What's the name of the senora whose soul I shall pray for? Her name is Chica Gonzalez, and she left this world many years ago. That's strange. Did something happen to Alvarez, and he asked you about this? But who is this Alvarez, and what's so strange about my request? Well, how? Each month, Alvarez, the guard of our lighthouse for two decades, orders a prayer service for the peace of the soul of this lady. Anyone but him still hasn't cared about... Ah, yeah, okay. Hasn't cared about Lady Gonzalez. I, I had to think about the meaning of the sentence just now. Uh, about the sense of it. Uh, and you come here. So I thought... Uh, so, and you come here. So I thought. However, it is not my business. Certainly, I will be glad to humbly carry out your wishes to help the stray soul find calmness on the road to paradise. That's a very long road. Thank you, Holy Father. I would say. Now I see, he is neither Enrique nor Gonzalez. I should check old Alvarez. I bet my head that he is our Henry the Hangman. Henry the Stickman. I'm Henry. Uh, Harry? Henry, yes. So, Lighthouse Keep, you say. Hey! Up, up, up. Up. I mean, since we are here, I got some rum for him. Wow. So vorgehen, Misty. Ah. Ja. 
Perhaps that's most certainly a hangman and a one-shot pistol. My place is here. I'm not expecting any guests, neither today nor any other day. What do you want? Hello, hangman. The forest devil has sent me. It's good that I have found you before Jackman's lads. His men are looking for you all across the Caribbean. Lucky for you, Henry. Only Swenson knows where you were born. He asked me to warn you. I see now. But it seems that Swenson is still alive and hasn't forgotten about his old friends. A lot of blood has flown since I first saw him as a rookie standing on board of a damaged brig. Life has gone by too fast and I don't have much time left. I wanted to die by natural causes on this wasteland, away from mankind and close to the sea. But if Jackman is back in the Caribbean, he won't leave me alone. It was not my fault, but I owe his master. Anyway, who will believe me now? I'm afraid not of death, but of pain, and Jackman knows a lot of pain. Uh, knows a lot about pain. The thought of it alone makes my heart stop and everything is going dark. Okay. Butcher was hanged 20 years ago, so you don't have to repay debts to anyone, but uh, you can give your debt to me if you are scared of Jackman. I think that you will meet him anyway. It is not easy to hang people like Butcher. The former executioner of St. John's could tell you a lot of interesting stories about the dead who returned from hell. Jacob was taught well by his captain, so I am not sure whom I fear the most. Why does Jackman need you? I had to deliver gold to a widow as payment for keeping Butcher's daughter safe. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, she was born not long before the Neptune was sunk. He couldn't be back for her in time, so he sent me to take care of the baby and her caretaker. Was Gladys Chandler the caretaker's name? Don't play it yet. If Jackman is looking for me, then it's because he needs Butcher's daughter. You must know already that he is looking for a woman from Belize named Gladys into a foster child. Be honest with me, that I might, might trust you. What were you supposed to tell Gladys? Nothing. I was supposed to show her Butcher's ring. That's how she would know that I was a courier sent by the captain. I also had to give her a chest of doubloons for the baby's needs. I had to kill a bastard to take away the ring. Okay, I made me prolong my stay on Antigua by an additional month. And when I had finally reached Belize, Gladys was already gone and the city was burned and plundered by the Spanish. Oh. She managed to sell her house and run away with her new boyfriend and baby Helen. I hoped that she took care of her and didn't sell the girl to the gypsies or, the, uh, or to the Brazil. The name of Butcher's daughter was Helen, right? Exactly, in honor of Butcher's mother. If you aren't scared of the living dead and pirates looking at you with dead eyes, then I can give you the ring and gold. I never touched it. I was dying of starvation, but I didn't touch it. Do with them what you want, and in return I ask you. Uh. What is happening, Henry? You, I ask... Oh. No! No! Yep, he didn't have much time left, apparently. Poor Hangman. All pirates' heart didn't make it. So, Jackman won't get him either. May God watch over him. So, here's all what I got. First, Helen McArthur is the daughter of Pirate Butcher, captain of the Neptune, who was bang hanged. Hanged. <laughs> who was hanged 20 years ago. Jacob Jackman was his first mate. Second, ex execution of St. John's. Hold some knowledge of interest for me. Third, Gladys is the foster mother of Helen, but the girl might not know that. Four, Henry was a boat swain of the Neptune and he was supposed to deliver gold to Gladys for the baby. Five, he had to show Gladys a parole, the captain's ring. I wonder, I wonder, will she... Ah, I wonder, will she be able to recognize it after so many years? At first, I should talk to Svensson. I have got something to show him. Oh, oops. Oh, no. Hank man. <gasps> Massive ring. Uh. Um, 
A to Z. I'm still overloaded. What am I carrying? The bottles. Let's ah, let's load again. Yeah. It's the bottles, of course. So he has nothing to say. Uh, church. Tempus fugit aeternitas mani. Aha, Okay, no ram then. So, Butcher was apparently not that evil, and I suppose that uh, uh, Jackman is looking for Helen for the ring and gold, I guess. Or only for the ring, because gold, honestly, the gold have, would have might have been used by now, you know? But the ring might have been kept, and I think the ring is more important. Okay, anyway. My Hi. place is here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No! I would have given you a coach, but okay. Oh. Ah, come on! Okay, I will keep your uh, sword in honor with the others. Massive ring. Captain Butcher's ring. Can I equip it? No. Oh. Ow. Never cut this cold hang man to look on the hanger. Man. Was afraid of the majority of pirates. Except this one. And one chest. Spanish to Bruins inside. I mean that is a lot of money. Well, he dead. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Okay. I the so I hope I didn't. rip them to return to prove it, then and see credits to the ring and some two bones. And first, you need to see Jan and give him an update. I have some suspicions about Helen's mother, but we want to be told later the truth. We have just a thing. Wait. Uh, time to return to Blue Belt, then. Uh, time to return to Blue Belt, then, and see Gladys regarding a ring and some doubloons. But first, we need to see Jan and give him an update. He will have some suspicions about Helen's mother, but we want to interrogate Gladys first. We have. The ah, okay. Importance. Oh, okay. Importante. Important. If you want to have a relationship with Helen or be able to choose between Helen and Mary, you need to refuse the pistol she offers you, as well as give her the doubloon that Harry the Hangman gave to you. If you do not, you will not have the option of keeping Helen after the pirate saga. If you do all three things, you will not be able to invite Mary on your ship, but can still choose her after you reject Helen at the end of the pirate saga. I mean... So many things pointed already towards Helen. So let's do I mean hey come on. The loading screen literally says you that Mary is very jealous. And the lady in my dream says to choose uh Helen. And Helen is kinda of fun, I guess, and very based, I think. Oh Millennium Talk. You are based girl. Oh ho, 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 ho. you know. Hmm, okay, we return to Blue Belt and talk uh, to Jan and then to Gladys and then I guess to Helen or something. Wait, what do we need to do? The pistol she offers you as well as give for the to Blue Okay, refuse and give. Okay.
Okay. Oh no, he did. Scorch win. Interceptors. Jan, then Gladys. Hello. Ah, ah, you again, Captain Charles and Marie. Move along. Jan is upstairs as usual. Thank you, Mrs. Swenson. Me. Nee. Charles. Aha, my friend Charles. What's the news? I've managed to learn a lot of interesting things from Hangman. Henry's... I didn't say that. Henry's dead? Wait, did you kill him? Don't look at me with those white eyes. I had nothing to do with it. He died by his own. Of his rotting conscience... Of his rotting con... Consci... Conscience... Conscience... Con conscience... Of his rotting conscience... Con... Conscience? 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 Conscious. No, conscience. Conscience. Conscience? Wait. Conscience. 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 Yeah. 
he died by his own of his rotting conscience and his fear of Jackman. The old pirate had problems with his heart and he didn't have very long to live. Here's what I managed to find out. Please tell. 20 years ago, Henry was supposed to hand over a chest of gold on behalf of Captain Butcher to his biological daughter's foster mother. There's absolutely no doubt that this foster mother was Mrs. McArthur. At that time, she was a sure name Chandler and lived in Belize. But circumstances held Hangman up in St. John's for a whole additional month, and when he finally arrived at Belize, it was in ruins after being raided by the Spanish, and Aunt Ladies and Sean had already hit the road under your wing. They passed off Helen as their biological daughter and raised her as their own. Henry lost track of them and laid low, being aware of Jackman's revenge and living the whole 20 years since then in fear. It turns out that Jackman is working for his captain's daughter, but why? I don't know. Maybe the ring. Maybe he's carrying out someone's orders. Doubt it. Who could give him orders? Butcher is dead. His death is confirmed by official documents. Dozens, if not hundreds of people witnessed him dying. Maybe this is not about who Helen's father is. Maybe this is all about her biological mother. I can already guess who she was, but I'm afraid to acknowledge, to acknowledge it, but Gladys. How could she keep this a secret for so many years without even revealing it to her husband? Sean McArthur surely would have told me about it. We have never had any secrets that we didn't tell each other. I'm going to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Gladys. I think I've got the means to make her talk. Until next time, Jan. Hmm. I've told everything to Jan Svensson, everything about Henry the Hangman, and his last words, but I should talk with Gladys. She might help me to clear up the story a bit. I should talk openly with her. I suppose that the captain's ring will help me in that. And now we talk with Gladys. Yes, here. Yeah. How's she doing? Okay. Still sleeping. Hello. Ah, Captain. Ah, you are always welcome in this household. Away. I'm always glad to see the safety of my daughter in my house. Do you want to see Helen? No. I want to ask you a few questions and I really hope on your can... Can door. I think. Helen's safety depends on it. Is this ring familiar to you? Good lord, this is your father's ring. Mr. McArthur's? No, Helen is our stepdaughter, but she doesn't know that. Her parents died, so I have decided to take her in as my child. Sean adopted her, but even he didn't know that she is not my daughter. So, who are her real parents? I know her father was a pirate called Butcher on the frigate Neptune. I only saw him twice, and her mother was a beautiful young woman. Red hair, dressed in men's clothes. Oh! That's pretty much all I can tell you about her, except that she was a bad mother. I would never leave such a babe in the hands of strangers, but both of them died tragically. And the promised courier has shown himself 20 years later and turned out to be you. Did Butcher send you? Is he alive? Calm down, Miss Gladys. There are no reasons to suspect that Butcher has revived. Though you are the second person who had this idea, I have recently met a man who was supposed to show you this ring. Uh, a simple incident had prevented him from doing so in time and he was suffering all his life because he had failed the last order of his captain. He died not long ago and... Well, enough said, Bruce. Tell me, Gladys, hasn't Helen's mother left any token to her child in the memory of her? Some little thing, perhaps? She left me a strange piece of an old map. Aha! Joke that it was her legacy. What good can that piece of paper do? I believe it was only a bad joke. She was overexcited and a bit out of her mind, but I preserved this gift. Who knows? If you want, I can give it to you if you promise to tell me the whole story one day. Absolutely, Miss MacArthur. 
I will take the scrap with me for a while. I need to talk with Mr. Svets. You helped us again, Monsieur de Maurey. I don't have any idea how to think. Take my husband's pistol at least. He was always proud of it and told me that it is very rare. It has just been lying here for a long time. Let it serve you. Take it, take it. Says Mrs. Redexcent. I would like to take a look at the pistol and reload. Uh, I have. I had a talk with Gladys, Mrs. McGarrett. I have heritage. Gladys claims it's just an odd joke, but something is telling me she is wrong. I suppose that we should see Sam and Fenson again. A half of sharp snap. Half of the legendary map that used to belong to Beatrice, mother of Helen MacArthur. Yeah, pistol. It's just a dueling pistol. Okay. Load. Captain, you are always welcome in this household. Let's just um, let's just push further. Let's just pistol so Helen. I have got enough weapon. But why do you keep refusing my gifts? You make me upset. Oh, I think that I will be able to make you happy now. I am going to return the gold which the courier was supposed to deliver to you for the worthy keeping of Captain Butcher's daughter. Sure, these two balloons won't repay all your love and loyalty, but they belong to you anyway. You can do whatever you want with them. Ah, Captain! I don't know what to say. I couldn't imagine that, uh, that such honorable man even exists. Go to my daughter and tell her the good news. I'm on my way, Miss MacArthur. This change to ordinary rascal. Hey! I would say. I had a talk with Glenn. I also didn't deny his words. I don't know if I'm going to an old map and learn to hear his boss. I have a chance to get his name to the original old job. Now, do we, are we allowed to talk with Helen or should I talk with Jan Svensson? If you have a piece of paper, so you can have it. Or is your husband's tuning pistol as a compense for the news? If you want Helen's sweet candy kisses, he he he, he will refuse. Instead of her, just instead of her, the chest of the boons, I think you have won her mother over. You want maybe instead, and I really can't blame you. Who doesn't want Red Mary? You can do what you want, but you still have the choice if you decline the gifts and give her the money. Okay, she says, Go to hell. Uh, she says to go to hell. Wait, she says to go. Ah, so, to go, uh, go to hell? No, she says to go tell Helen. But that is a lie. You need to talk to Svensson again and show him the scrap of paper. Okay. Okay. Well, you got oh, Charles, did you speak to, to Gladys? Day, yes, I did. Jan, have a look here. Can you tell me anything about this patch of parchment here? Where did you get that? Gladys gave it to me. She said it was the inheritance of Helen's mother. She doesn't know her name. Something tells me this is not some average piece of scrap paper. Remember when I told you that I had a hunch on who Helen's real mother was? Now I'm sure of it. Her name was Beatrice Char. She was the biological daughter of my teacher and friend, Nicholas Sharp, the declared sister of the founder of our brethren. Oh, Lace Sharp and part owner of Ila Tesoro. <gasps> is this map piece that Jackman is after? Well, how about that? But why would he need half of an island map? The island was discovered by Nicholas Sharp. He named it Ila Tesoro mapped it and took its possession through the Providence Island Company, where he had good connections. Ok. 
Okay. Nicholas wrote in his testimony that the island can be inherited only by those who produce two parts of the map. He did it in order to avoid any discords. He gave the pass to Beatrice and his stepson place before he tragically died by Spanish hand. Well, damn me, how odd. You are right, it wasn't the best idea. At a slight notary added that the island will belong to the English crown if no one produces both parts of the map within a year after the death of, of the heirs. Oh lol. English crown of known produce most parts of the map within a year after the death of the hares. No one thought coming back then and now we are paying the price for our stupidity. Beatrice died 20 years ago. All these years have passed and we still haven't got any idea where her grave together with the part of the map are. Blaze Sharp was murdered not long ago. Okay, his part is also... Uh, his part has also disappeared. If no one produces the whole map of Ila Tesoro to the authorities within a year, that's why there is a time uh, schedule now. If no one produces the whole map of Ila Tesoro to the authorities within a year, then Sharpton will be claimed by England. They will send a governor with a garrison there and the brethren will be finished. What do you suggest we do? We can't let this happen. I need you, Charles. I need you to prevent such a course of action, and I will be able to help you with eliminating Levasseur only after we seize control over Ila Tesoro and elect Shark Dodson as a new leader of the brethren. He is the most worthy of us. I offer you an alliance. And, by the way, I have spoken to Helen. She agreed to join your crew. You leave me no choice, Jan. I can't return back to France without restoring honor to my family. And in order to do that, I need to take out Levasseur with, with or without your help. Unnecessary deaths are not what I want, and I hope I can, uh, you can figure out how to take Tortuga without spilling too much blood. Also, I must admit that I would like to make sense of the hazy past surrounding Sharp's inheritance myself. It's nice to hear sound thoughts. Well, uh, we'll figure out the right way to take Tortuga, that I promise you. So, let's go. Let's go, I'll drop in again a bit later. For now, think about where to start with tackling the issue. Drop in again in two or three days. By then, I think my plan will have come to a, a culmination. You gotta take Tortuga? Uh, I'm not sure, we will... We will see. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. I will have come to culmination. Don't forget taking Helen on your ship with you. The poor girl is just pining away without the sea. She'll be a loyal assistant and you won't have to think twice about relying on her. But all my slots are already filled. Alright, Jan. I'll go get her right now. Ah. It is just getting more and more interesting. Helen MacArthur is the one who succeeds the, the whole island. Yet, I mean, I have my own island too, so I guess it's it's very nice to have an island. Even so, her island will be bigger. But oh my god, think about it. Well, good luck, you're gonna need it. And a bigger boat, Limfau. Yeah, thank you. I saw how Tortuga is protected. Yeah, three ships and two forts. Well... Not two forts, but one fort on each side. Two buildings as one fort, I mean. Yeah. Um, I need the bigger wooden farm. Yeah. But hey, think about it. You would have owned a whole island if you were the first one to uh, discover it. Think about it. A whole island, if you were the one to discover it. Wow. And there are special ships. They are? Uh, there is a... Uh, wait. 
line of the uh, ship of the line, a heavy frigate and a frigate that guard the port most of the time. Once uh, there weren't any ships at all. Okay, so I'm interesting. To uh, is the one who succeeds the whole island. Yet to prove her rights, we need to find another part of the map which belonged to Blaze Sharp. He is a foster son of Helen's grandfather. It is interesting that Blaze was recently murdered. No doubt the Jackman Sucks had something to do with it. Wait. Beatrice Sharp and Blaze Sharp. Wait, where are they both of them? them wait, were both of them married or? Wait. So Blaze, wait, is Blaze Sharp Helen's father? What is it? No, Butcher is Helen's father. So, and wait, is Blaze Sharp Beatrice Sharp's ex-husband? Or sibling. I I don't really get it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Sachs has something to do with it. Swenson told me that Helen is eager to serve under my flag as an officer. Well, I suppose that it will be much safer for her because I know what Jackman is capable of. I should visit the. I should visit the MacArthur's. Okay. She says to go to him and say, You need to talk to Svensson again and show him the scrap of papers. And also, his mother is none other than Beatrice Sharp, sister of Blaise Sharp. Yes, sister, okay. They are siblings, sister of Blaise Sharp, the now dead pirate king. It is essentially half of the deed to Ida Tesoro. The other half was held by Blaise himself. Oh, what a very pirate thing to do. Ownership of the island is dependent on possessing a map. Lol. A tricky British paper pusher added in that if no one produces the map <coughs> within a year after the death of Blaise and Beatrice Sharp, the island will belong to the English. Daw. Oop. Daw. So to sum it up, Jan will Jan, Jan, whatever. Jan will help you take Tortuga, but first you need to make sure Helen inherits Ila Tesoro and Shark Dodson. Who is missing? Gets elected the new leader of the Brethren. Gee, is that all? You sure Ila Mona won't do? It would be easier. Yeah, why not Ila Mona? Ah, well, so Helen is to be your loyal companion and you need to get to an island. Well, that should break the ice if saving her life didn't. Let's go tell her. Talk to Gladys again and give her the heads up. You are about to spill the figurative beans. She is thrilled that her daughter is going to be sailing on your ship. That hardly goes a day without getting into a huge battle. Damn, the Caribbean is a rough place. Go give Helen the good news now. Important what is now. The third important notice here. If you want to have a relationship with Helen or be able to choose between Helen and Mary, you need to call Helen Helen Sharp when you talk to her, not Helen McArthur. Uh, okay. If you do not call her sharp, you will not have the option to keep her after the pirate saga. Let's keep her. If you do all three things, you will not be able to invite Mary on your ship, but you can still choose her after the Helen's and the pirate saga. Why would I want Mary? When you greet her, call her Helen Sharp, or if you don't give a damn about her, just call her MacArthur after all. But Mary is coming up soon, and she's just delightful. Oh, never mind, I guess, okay. So I guess Mary is uh, a family member of Beatrice Sharp. But is she? But is she the daughter of Be of 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 uh, Beatrice Sharp? Anyway. When you call her sharp, you, uh, well, it turns out that you just fulfilled the prophecy. You are fated to meet Helen. 
If use the rewards, give up the widow coin and name the mother. Better start picking up a uh, picking out a tuxedo. The chains of fate have arrived. Yeah, that is what the woman in my dream said. Call her by her name. And she will be yours. It this is what has been said or stuff like that, I don't know. I could do worse than a twenty year old strawberry blonde tot What? Is helping out two chains of fate having alright. One could do worse than a twenty year old strawberry blonde hot pirate queen though. Could one do better? What? Do worse than I guess. Save your judgments until you meet Red Mary. Okay. Uh, at this point, directly after the Dutch Gimbal, then Helen is probably a sweet navigator and a very decent boarder. Yes, if you are rank 26 and have finished all the DLC, it's probably the worst officer you have. Maybe the good news is she has 10 talents, so she can be molded to your will fairly easily. As you can argue that she is the best looking officer you have. I guess so boarding and walking around town is just that much more fun. Toss her and as a leader, Milano Curras, and a superimposed two load pistol, and she is ready for action. I only have one Milano Curus. And that one is mine. Okay. Um, but is she an immortal officer? Return to Jan in three days, and she will have come up with a plan. He needs to get Shark Dodge and elect as leader of the press, and to do that. Have to collect votes from all the pirate barons across the Caribbean. Anne is obviously in, but we need Zachary, Barbarson, and Tyrex to cast the votes in favor as well. Lastly, we'll have to straight up kill Jackson and replace him. Of course, you say definitely no. Well, the first thing is. Uh, English. Well, first thing is first. Let's go talk to Zachary, the black pastor here, resides in Cuba. Okay, anyway. Wait, why? Anyway. Um, oh, because Shark. Yes, that was the other lead. Probably, I don't know. Okay. So, I should visit the MacArthur's. Let's go. I should save. I hate you for doing this. Why are you always standing here? So... Can I talk with her now? Or is the door still closed? Okay. Ah, still closed. Hi. Ah, Captain. Ah, Captain. You are no, no, always have... welcome in this household. Yeah. You know, I have told Helen everything. You can't imagine what a load has been taken off my mind. You have done everything right, Miss MacArthur. The girl needs to know the truth, and I am here because of her. Are you serious? What do you mean? According to the demand of sister, uh, sister of Mr. Svensson, I am going to employ Helen on my ship as an officer. She is in great danger. Helen will need solid protection while Jan and me are dealing with this matter. I hope that I will be able to provide such protection. Ah, that is so good. I would dare to ask you for this myself. It will be the very best protection for my girl. Helen will be so glad to sail again. Thank you for your compliment, Miss MacArthur. And now I have to see your stepdaughter. <gasps> Cutlass! Ah, okay. And hello again. Anything? Aha! A mirror, of course. Yeah. Okay. I think she was busy looking at the mirror? You promised to tell me something ah, there you are, my very important. Eye, she always says, my captain. Your eyes tell me that you have got news for me. Captain Svensson told me that you want to sail with me. I appreciate your wish. Plus, Miss Gladys mentioned that you have missed the sea. Welcome aboard, Miss Helen MacArthur. 
Captain Svensson told me that you want to sail with me. I appreciate your wish. Plus, gla plus Miss Gladys mentioned that you have Miss the Sea. Welcome to my crew, Miss Helen Shar. Sure, why not? W uh, what did you say? Helen Sharp? Why Sharp? Helen, you are the daughter of Beatrice Sharp and the only heir of the Sharp dynasty. It's a dynasty? Oh? This is half of the map which had been kept by Miss Gladys for all these years. It's proof of your rights to Ela the Sorrow. It won't be easy, but me and Jan Swenson will do our best to help you inherit your grandfather's island. Oh, my poor mother! I wish I could find her grave one day and pray for her soul there, but... Wait! Impossible! What is it, Miss Sharp? The Gipsy Woman prophecy has just come true! I finally understand it now! Eh? What prophecy? Nanny? Charles, you might call me naive, but I will tell you anyway. When I was a young girl, a Gipsy Woman told me... Your fate will lie in the hands of the man! Who won't take the widow's coin, who returns the dead man's gold, and who names the mother. Oh. I have goosebumps. I thought that it was all nonsense back then, but somehow you managed to fulfill every part of the prophecy. There is no way you would know about that. Your fate, you say? Well, perhaps you are right. I, I won't disappoint you. We will look for your mother's grave together, and for now, Miss Helen Sharp. Get yourself ready for departure and don't be late. Aye aye, Captain! Yay! Rumpa. I wonder why Swenson actually entrusted his precious Rumpa to me. I would have done. Uh, it would have been safer to keep her at his home, or better yet, locked inside the fort of Bluebelt. The sea holds many dangers, and entrusting her to a stranger like me seems unnecessarily risky. Either Swenson knows more than he's letting on, or it was Ellen herself who requested this. In any case, she and I have a significant task ahead, and it makes sense to establish a working relationship at the very least. I'll take her to Ila Tesoro and show her the inheritance. It's risky, but I hope it will fall the ice that seems to be between us. Okay. You know what? I came to St. Pierre to free my brother, and I feel like uh, at the moment when I finally can get him out of prison, at that moment I will have my own empire. Thousand ships, two islands, stuff like that, you know? <laughs> I just came here to free my brother, you know, and I just, I guess, overqualified. Uh, throughout the process of doing that. Uh, the Pirate Saga. Helen is my officer now. Never thought that I will command such a great girl. Now I should wait for Swenson, who is preparing his general plan. 17th January 1665. Soda? Soda? Luda? I, I don't know. Sharpton will be the. Ah, 17th January. A year, okay. 1665, the Sharpton will be transferred to the British. Okay. There's a timer running now. Good, what now? So we have to return in three days. Okay. So, um, uh, ah, she is. She, she still hasn't left. Okay. Now. Now! And she got a level up. She's now rank 16 instead of... Oh my... What was with her stats at rank 16? Hey, she has, a, she has her father's dueling pistol. Okay, I will respect that. 
Uh, she will keep the pistol. Um, character, okay. And you got a few skills. Yeah, 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 of course you got. So, talent 10. Okay. Light weapons, you are a light weapons gar girl. You got. Did you. She got better skills now. 85. So, try second, right? 8. <gasps> I could train her. As my cannoneer and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, hi. Ah, Captain. Hey, you are always you are welcome, welcome in this household. Thank you, Mr. Gauss, but I am too busy right now. Oh. So. So. Uh, let's get the ship. Uh, I'm gonna collect my ship. Old rainbow. Yes. That's why we have to pay beforehand. Because otherwise it won't be profitable if we... ...take the ship. Uh, if we take the ship before... Uh, ...a month has passed. No, why are there so many bots? It's it's ridiculous at this point. Uh, is that all? Let's talk to to her. So, alle Achtung, alle Achtung, we have a woman on board. Uh, no, here, yes. Hello. Aye, aye, my captain. Yes, Charles. Who are we saving today? Helen, I have no order for you. Uh, follow me and keep up. Everyone's kept. Wait, what? Why can I come on? Dear her? Why can I give her an order when she is not a vanguard? Hmm. She has a lot of health. Why? Ordinary, I would say. Extraordinary sailor. No, wait. No, she's not an ordinary sailor at all. Ah, whatever. But is she immortal? I think she must. Oh, wait. oh 100 navigation. Let's go a long way. Okay, um... Yeah, she has all the right books. 95 navigation. 99 navigation? <laughs> wow. Old Swain. 14. Ah! Defense repair. Yeah, all of them are very talented. You know what?
I think we can make, yeah, we can relieve Volker of his Vanguard status. And give it to oh, Helen Mac. Ach so. Oh. Helen Sharp. Oh, she has a work in the basic nurse and physician. And critical shot. She, she has okay-ish dynamics. Yeah, she has okay deaths. Like works and stuff. And she's a check of all trades, which makes sense, I guess. So. Yes, great. Pity. Ah, Fluffy Kitty. So, um, let's talk to her and equip her. Aye, aye, my captain. Charles said, and I have not. Who are we saving today? Okay. So, um, light weapons, yes. Oh, first, this, this, this. 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 So much paper. Um, bum, bum. I think that is what, uh, Kobler, Kublin, Seven, whatever, um, uh, said having uh, when he mentioned having three vanguards and a woman it sounded like that the woman will be extra like four people walking around with me you know oops here so okay so let me give you what is the best light weapon Wait, can you? No, 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 no pistol. No, 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 no. You, she will use her father's pistol. Um. Let's try, let's try the other letter, maybe. Maybe small sword. Maybe short saber. Be a stocker. Uh, Messer is most likely medium. Do you wonder maybe? Letter shot is definitely heavy. Maybe a Bilbo. Or a castle letter. Hanged man is not light sword. What you want to wait? Just ah, wait. Was that a car? The mon caput monto or is that the rapier that uh, which uh, ball Jeffrey had? And of course, a trench curse. Oh, uh, wait. Let's take a look at that. And bullets, of course.
Wait, no. <sighs> um, first, armor. What does what? Um, 30%, 80, uh, 75. That's, uh, okay. Rise chorus, 20. Can I give her the suit? Aye, aye, my captain. Uh, Who oops. are we saving today? Wait, oh, craft, yeah, exchange. Um, she chose to wear that, but you can't see it, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I would like to give her the trench chorus. How much can she carry? 140, okay. Let's just give her that. For, uh, for protective purposes. Yes, she has only one. She does, yes. Uh huh, okay. Uh, yeah, takes this. Hmm. And now the swords. Which one is the best? Saber. Oh, it's a medium weapon. That's a small sword. For 60 light weapons. Okay. Made in Verdon. The plate makes station tracks impossible, but the length keeps it in the distance. Right. That's a heavy weapon. My bad. 40. It's better. Capo di Mente. 51. Okay, Happy is named the Saxon Feather for its legendary balance with, which allows the wielder to land slashing pieces and strikes with ease. The blade obeys with the slightest movement of the hand, which regate guard provides the protection of the hand. Yeah, I think other letter 60 attack. Toss her as a Yeah! Okay. A curse and a superimposed to the twist and she's ready for action. Nope. Not a two post. Uh, not a two barrel pistol. No, no, no. Just an as Okay, and everything else can go back. So. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's it. Okay. Uh, madame. Sorry. Uh, boop. And a little bit of ammo. 30 bullets should suffice. Okay. Anything else? Maybe health potions. And I guess a few antidotes. Uh, boop. Boop. Uh huh. So, and you, my lady, shall please equip um, the paper cartridge. Yes, yeah, Okay. Ok, 
Okay, Musketier, very nice. Das komische, okay. And next thing I'll give you is quick loading. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um I like her hair color. So you got paper. And and we need potions again. Now I want those I just got hungry for a special kind of cookie, which I haven't eaten in ages. Do you know those, those moments when your memory suddenly strikes with you with a long past thought? Okay, so three days, okay. So with needles. Yes. Oh. Oh, was it after the Pirate Saga? Uh, Caribbean Legend Pirate Wait. Um, what's his name again? Bit Needles. Bit Needles. Oh my quest. Uh, wait, when? Uh, I did this in the end of the Pirate Saga, now it's just... Okay, sorry! Sorry! No, 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 please come back. My bad. Volker, I hope you are all right with it, yes? And welcome back. La 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 Hello. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, what do we do? Now we really have to wait. I wouldn't even run away. I would just stay here. No? It's our responsibility yes, to yes. be on guard. Yeah, let's just wait here, I guess. Uh, uh, return to Yen in three days and he will have come up with a plan. He needs to get Shark Dodson elected as leader of the president to do that. You have to collect uh, three days later. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Ah, you know what? Let's do it inside the tavern.
two. Uh, come on, come here. Let's get real. What's it here? Uh, okay, uh, which one? Ah, you can hear me. Okay. She's not grinning at me anymore. Charles. So, there we are, Charles. I have chewed our plight over a little. I wouldn't necessarily call it a plan, but I'm all ears, Jan. First, you need to find the shark. He wanted to get rid of the Vasur himself, and I assure you that he has some bright ideas. Of course, we could also persuade Marcus to accept the leadership. He is the keeper of the Codex, after all, but I doubt that he would be of any help. He has intentionally limited any contact with Silvasaur and Tortuga, a man of principles. I have no idea where Steven and his men hide, but his frigate Fortune was seen at Puerto Principe. Perhaps Zachary Marlowe, also known as the Black Pastor, can point us to where... Okay. ...to look for the shark. Second, we have to gain the support of the other bar barons to elect Dodson, and in order to do that, we need to collect the Indian shards, the votes. The new leader must have all five of them. That is what the code tells us to do in the case that the previous leader has died. I have no idea where we are. What, what, what? Like, we have to gain the support of the other barons to elect Dodson. In order to do that, we need to collect the Indian shards, the votes. The leader must have all five of them. That is what the code tells us to do in the case that the previous leader has died. Ridiculous! It is time to change the laws, but only the new leader can do that. We already have my vote. I believe that the Black Pastor doesn't give a damn about whose ass is planted in Charmtown. I hope that Jackman didn't talk to him first. We also have to persuade both Tyrex and Jackass Barbason, who hate each other. But it is all irrelevant until we find out what has happened with the shark. Third, one day we will have to kill Jackman and replace him with someone else. He won't negotiate with us. Too bad that Hawk is dead. People trusted him and we could use his words. Hawk? We won't find a better bar baron for Maroon Town. It is possible that Jackman has something to do with Blaze's murder, so he is also the clue to finding. Okay, it's the second part of the map. Jacob trusts no one and most likely keeps the part of the map in his cabin on the Centurion. Hawk's family used to own the frigate, but Jackman claimed it just like Hawk's barony. Uh -huh. Frigate, okay. If you find the second part of the map in Jackman's possession, it would be a great argument for Steven's election. Especially for Marcus Tyrex, the codekeeper, and his overscrupulousness in terms of honor. We will return back to Helen. Return back to Helen, who rides over Isla Tesoro as soon as we acquire both parts of the map. You must be careful, though. Jackman won't stay idle and just watch us uh, watch you searching. Well, I'm about to pay the Black Pastor a visit. Tell me about him. Hell, if I know what's on his mind. Sometimes he looks like a complete freak, but nevertheless, I believe this is just smart, smart, smart acting. Besides, his men are ready to fight the devil himself in honor of the beloved pastor. They have established some sort of protestant sect close to the Spanish Inquisition on Cuba, so don't even start talking about theological matters there. They won't approve of them. I'll take that into account. And Charles, don't waste a minute of your time. I mean it. Remember the su uh, subscript in the will that says that if the ha hares don't claim the island within the period of one year, then Ida Tesoro will go to the English crown, right? Well, time isn't on our side right now. When you and I saw each other last time, there were only around 11 months left until the time will be up. Okay. I remember, Jan. You are right. Time is money. I am on it. Okay. I need more water. The shark can't. Yes, of course. I was lacking desperate religious fanatics, but there is nothing I can do. I need Zachary anyway. 
Okay. Off to where? Wait. He doesn't even tell me where to go. Charles, oh, I think it's coming along. Is there anything I can I have to tell you at the moment? Just stopping by to see how you are. Ow. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a backpasser here at Station Cooper. I mean, yeah, Cooper. I mean, it's not like I forgot, but. What if I forget? Pass here at Station Cooper and Bridge Hotel Prinzip. I can't. Quest Shark, I can't. Normal. Friends of the Pirate Saga. I mean, it's fine and. Ah, time sensitive within confines of the Pirate Saga. I like that he is actually. Mentioning like how much time more or le less we have left of the one year. Fireman's find it in the good talent. But items Shark Dotson, Quest Giver, Jan Swenson, Approval, Rewards or Quests. Great. This intends us to talk to the back past and try to the principle on Cooper. Let's go. We might not be aging, but we aren't getting younger. Then it's a pirate nest and talk. Go talk to Pastor. Last time we saw Dodson was when he left on his free excursion trip of the Pacific. Didn't come back, so we sold the watch on to William Patterson, English captain, and Noble Trading Sharks Park. Okay. Good. Um, let's take off. Oops. Okay. No fast travel. Oh, I wish I had uh, one more Vanguard slot for the lady or Volk the Lucky. Okay, okay. Um. okay, we are good to go. How long was this? Then first, oh, perfect. 90 days, it's three months. Ah, it's still the first month, okay. Um, Cuba. Puerto del Principe or something. Uh, oops. Uh, oh, map. Puerto del Principe, we have to go north. Okay. Let's save again. Wait a second. I'm smart. Um, uh, uh, okay. Perlas, uh huh. Mosquito Coast. Is it Mosquito Coast? It is Mosquito Coast. Ah, okay. It wasn't that one. It was up below. Okay, Mosquito Coast. Uh, okay. Taya Sal Temple, very interesting Lago Peten. Uh -huh. Wild Rataska Lagoon. Nawatika Kov. Belize. Chichumal Kov. Kaisumal Bay Cape Kadosh Bay of Peril Okay We traveled as far north as we could Now we are here Nice map by the way The global map looks very okay, I like the textures of it Uh, right, let's not forget that. We are in Spanish waters. Uh, 
Put it cough. Okay, wait. Um, I need to map again. Uh, Anna Maria Kov. Anna. Blah blah blah. blah. Beach. Way. Okay. There is a pastor, yes. Where exactly is he? Uh, Google is Google. I'm getting uh, a person who to the pastor. Where exactly is he? Like, is he living in a random house? Store? Was he the store owner? Flint? Nice. Gold. Is he here maybe inside the tavern? Okay. Is it the governor? Just the governor. Best into the morning. Good morning. Brother! Ah, Zachary! It's you! Black, okay, I get it. Do you have any business with me? If you don't, then get away from here. I'm trying to find Shark Dodson. They say that you are the last man who saw him. Can you help me with that? Steven Dodson? Don't know how you, my story would help you because Shark has been missing for the last few months and no one has seen him. It is not a surprise though. He killed Blaze Sharp and discredited his own name by this foolish action. What? He made a few powerful corsairs his enemies. I have all reasons to think that Shark is innocent of Sharp's death. I can prove it. Perhaps Shark can do it himself. Are you going to tell me anything about him? A few months ago, Steven came to me and offered a very odd deal. He left his frigate fortune engaged for a month in exchange for a brig fully loaded with provisions. Then he either returns me the brig and money for the provisions or I keep his frigate. A month passed. No sign of neither shark nor my brig. No money. If I would be you, I would have been very suspicious about why he would, like, not come back for his frigates. Besides, I heard rumors that Blaze was murdered and Shark was the suspect. What could I think? Correct. I thought that Steven had escaped from the worst. Oh. 
I told this frigate and to some Englishman named William Patterson. He was very pleased and paid a great pile of tokens for the ship. Why? Therefore, I have completely compensated my expenses and hold no grudge against him. I don't care about Sharp's death. I have my own problems to worry about. Don't you think that if he wanted to escape, he would eat your brig? He had his own ship hundred times better than any brig. It looks like Shark had a plan, but something went wrong and he didn't return in time. As I have already told you, I don't care about Dodson's problems. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. Regarding the ship, you would better ask him why he needed the damn brig. I didn't force him to take it. Fine, let's not talk about it anymore. You are right, of course. Tell me, are you aware about where Steven was heading in your on your brig? Who knows for sure, but I have some guesses. He sailed northwest towards Maine. It's either Bay of Peril, which is known for its hostile Indians, or New Spain, which is known for its papists and the Inquisition. Mm. Northwest to Maine. Indians or New Spain, which is known for its papists and the Inquisition. I doubt that he would sail to any of these places, but they say that. There is a strange place called City of Abandoned Ships. Oh, interesting. Located towards northwest of Cuba. A lot of people consider this a muse, but not me. Not because I am such a romantic person, but because there are real people who sail there on their longboats. At least they used to. And who are they? Buccaneers from Cuba. They had been loading their barques with bulls carcasses and sailed northwest. They always returned a bit later with their pockets filled with money or with rare and valuable goods. Intriguing. Where can I find those pioneers? Why are you asking me? Search Cooper's woods. Even if you find them, they won't tell you anything. Why should they expose the source of their good living? So don't waste your time. No one has seen them doing it again since a long time. Also... I heard of some notes written by Spanish sailor Alvarado who visits the island himself. So I am curious, perhaps Steven did sail there after all. The unknown isle which is not on maps. Well, that is promising. Uh, uh, oh, that is not promising information. I mean, I own an island that is not on maps. I have told you in the beginning that my story wouldn't help you. And why do you need dots? Me and the forest devil want to elect him as leader of Brethren of the Coast. As I have told you already, there are some serious reasons to suggest that Blaze was murdered by someone else. Heh, I take it that Jan is standing for him? Well, you know the law. Dodson will have to get a vote from each Baron. I know the law. My second, <clears throat> My second question then. Will you vote for Dodson on the election? Well, he should return first. Actually, I don't care who will lead the brethren as long as he does his business well and doesn't bother me. As I said, I have problems of my own. Do you know how many witches and pages are on our island? No? I will tell you. A legion. Besides, there are also a lot of papists in Santiago and Havana. Speaking of mages, there is a book called Hammer of the Witches. I really want to get it, but only in English. I don't need Latin, German or Spanish translations. I don't know these languages. I know German. And I know a guy that knows Latin. Bring me the book and I will vote for Dodson. But uh, 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 oh. be aware that Shankman promised me to find it too. So if he succeeds first, don't blame me then. Fine, I will consider that. Thanks for your time. See you. The shark hunt. I understand two things after talking with Zachary. First, I have no idea left where to search for the shark. Second, Pastor will vote for Dodson only if we will find him some theosophical book, Hammer for the Witches, written in English. There is an assumption that shark is hiding on some island of justice. Northwest North for Marvel. Island? He never mentioned Island of Justice, or did he? Anyway, Northwest from Havana, but it is too doubtful. We don't know if the island even exists. City of the abandoned ships, uh, ships. But there won't be any point in the book until we find Shark. I should see Svensson. You must help me to solve this riddle. Mm. Okay, do we actually go back to Svensson? 
All the witches and matches on Cuba hit this, this breath for his sword. We won't worry about that for now. I had managed to go on. We are forced to go back to Yan for advice. Huh, tick tock, tick tock. Yan doesn't know much except the shark. Ah, yes, we have to go back to Yan. Okay. Or do we? Or is he just telling us that? I suppose he also to wait. He does have to be a color cover. If anyone has a good part of the table, hopefully you still have plenty of time on your trade license. And then we need to have to talk about time management. Only don't have time. Let's, yeah, let's talk to Svensson again. How's the ship? Uh, since we're here, let's buy some food. Moist toy is at your service. Nice. Medicine? Alright. Maybe I should have sold the weapons. Okay. Uh Maria Bay. Anna Maria Bay, yes. Kofta, okay. Well, let's go. It's still January. January, okay. Yep, San Antonio. City of the Bad Ships. So now we go Cap Katosh, I think. Uh Kozumel Bay. Shetumelkov. What of East? Thank you, game. Uh, Amatikov? Amatikov, yes. Uh, Kov, Karataska Lagoon. And that was it. Okay. Uh, from here, we continue on foot on our ship. What am I doing? Mosquito Coast. Port of Blue Belt. Nice, very time efficient. What day is it? Second February only. Come on, Yippee. don't irritate. Oh. I mean it is urgent, but okay. Hey, 
Hi, how are things coming along? Is there anything I can assist you with? I have spoken to the Black Pastor. Sadly, the outcome of our conversation has sent me right back to you for advice. I'm stumped. Mm. What did Zachary tell you? Prior to his disappearance, Shah came to visit him and left his frigate with Zachary as collateral for a break with some food and then sailed off somewhere northwest to Cuba. That really is fishy. Go on. One month later, Dodson did not return as a pastor according to the terms of the agreement, took the frigate for himself and sold it for a good price to some guy named Patterson. As far as our affairs go, Zachary mentioned that Shark might have taken off to some legendary Justice Island, supposedly located somewhere not far to the northwest of Cuba. I have heard about Justice Island. They say that there is an island where white and black live peaceful lives, together as equals. Bullshit spread by all sorts of streamer, uh, dreamers. But there is a possibility that some sort of smuggler base exists to the northwest. The Barques used to be seen in the open sea on a regular basis 10 years ago. They brought different kinds of goods to Cuba in exchange for food. Treasure for food? The pastor sold to me. Uh, sold. A. Hey, English. Eel. Treasure, treasures for food? The pastor has also told me about the beef shipping buccaneers. It's pretty much a walking contradiction. These gossips must have a source, so smugglers or buccaneers. Nyerses Barques were sailing to that region for some reason. I remember the shark told me so stories about his youth. He was some sort of a slave at some odd formation made of. Okay. Buccaneers Barques. For some reason. Okay. He was some sort of a slave at some odd formation made of shipwrecks in the middle of the sea. Perhaps that is our place? No clue. Anyway, the pastor has a point. Something is out there. Either a secret base or an island where Shark could have gone to. Listen. Sail to Santo Domingo and find a scientist named José Dios. He is a Spanish cartographer. I once saved him from dirty scum. I respect educated people. He will help you. Just tell him my name. Go to Hispaniola, find Dios and talk to him. He knows our region's ge geography perfectly and if he won't be able to help you, no one will. Alright, Jan. Sounds like a plan. Off I go. Surprisingly, Swenson supported Zachary's idea that Shark might be on some island at northwest of the Caribbean Sea. See? Ah, my tongue, help me. He had passed off the barques of smugglers or buccaneers sailing in that region before. He doesn't believe in Island of Justice, though. Thank God. But he supposes that it is some... Okay. But it is some sort of a hidden smuggler's hideout. Honestly, if this game came out today, it would probably... Ah, trigger so many people. Especially Vogue people. Maybe, or something. I don't know. I can learn more from Jose Dios, a Spanish cartographer. I can find him in Santo Domingo. Thank God, but he supposes that it is some sort of a smuggler's hideout. Was to the north, yes. Yep, so I would say. Where am I again? Ah, yes, I'm improved. Let's go back up. Okay. Well. I've got the best products around. So, okay, Perlas. I should probably save first.
Wait. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Karataska Lagoon. I'm a Rieke Kroff. What if we use the Chitumar Kroff? Cosmal Bay. Bay Cape Katosh. I think Cape of Katosh is good enough. Ah, damn it. Okay, my bed. Nein. Ah. It was spawn here. Sure about this? Ah, you know what? Yolo. Take no prisoners. They don't surrender. moment Okay. So, have you collected something up there? Yes. No. Good thing I checked. That's it, adventure. Okay. Um. And I need uh, three more. Hello? Let me go, Captain. 
one. Ah, okay. What are you gonna do to me? Two. What are you gonna do to me? Three. Hello. Oh, you lucky. Oh, my little tartan. No! No! Not my tartan. Good thing I told my Tartane to run away. Take no prisoners. Nice. Ah, damnation. Okay. Would have liked to see what she can do. Okay. Nice. Oh, hey, doing pistol. Hermes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, you two run away.
Okay. Okay. That's in a revenge, how cute. Okay. Now, it's your turn. I don't know what she's doing. No, 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 no. Don't you dare to run away. Thank you. Get him already. Okay, very good. Finally.
Boing, boing, boing. Try and catch me. Doom, boom, 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 Oh. Hmm. Right side, ready to fire. Right. Really? And Maria Bay? Oh. Well. Okay. Oops. Yeah, it's a big pirate ship coming towards me now. Wait. the neighboring islands oops okay so So So, the store, I know. All right, let's haggle a little bit. Okay. Shapes are like people. So, Every one um, of them has a soul of their own. 
Close the cannons. Zero, zero, sell. We made a nice money. Tire maybe more people. Since we are here, right. Hello. Is here. Uh, hey there, hey, 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 hey. new face my lighthouse. I'm going to introduce myself. I say, Guel Pantoya, and this lighthouse is my home and my job. What can I do for you? Hello, sir, I say, Guel. My name is Charles Mori. I'm a ship captain. I was taking a walk around this wonderful cove and decided to stop by to take a look at who lives there. Now you know, I used to be a sailor, just like you, but it's been long ago since I last set foot on a ship's deck. Now, this lighthouse is in my care, and I am also selling some stuff. What exactly are you selling? Sometimes, I go to the shore and collect shells. There is one pretty place not far from here, so you can always buy pearls for me. Every storm brings amber, I sell it too. Also, it will cost you a lot. Sometimes, the waves bring all kinds of interesting trinkets from sinking ships, and my old buddies bring me special items. I am interested in enchanted amulets. Wise men pay good coin for those. I also offer weapons on special occasion, don't ask me why I get it. The town merchant buys all the web for me, good stuff I sell myself after I repair and clean it. I am interested in RAM, blah 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 Yeah. I guess we have you, but I warn you, my name is all different to my influence, you don't understand. What else can I deliver? Oh, okay. Okay. My place is here. Now, uh, so let's go. Uh, 15,000, okay.
So, uh, oops. Um, how do I travel the best? Jump, lighthouse. Okay. I'm moving now, I guess. away better bingo so, bingo so cartographer where exactly does he live Do we ask around the tavern? Okay. House, house, house. Is it not named? It must be you. This region conceals ah, many more battles you and you. mysteries. You want so something? Good night. Tell me, are you? No you to explain them. Yeah. Tell me, are you Jose Dios, the cartographer? Yes, that's me. I do not. Uh, I don't know you, Senor. What do you want from me? My name is Charles de Maure and I was sent by Jan Svensson. Do you remember him? Ah, Senor Svensson. Sure, I remember him. Come, make yourself comfortable. How is the respected Jan doing? Thanks, he is doing fine. Senor Dios, I need your help. I want to consult with you about a matter which you must be familiar with due to your profession. Jan recommended you as a geography expert of the Caribbean region. I am listening, Senor. What do you want to know about the archipelago's geography? They say that there's, there's an island or some other kind of info, uh, formation northwest from Havana, between Cuba and the Gulf of Mexico. This island has never been plotted on any map. I'd like to know the trustworthiness of these gossips. Hmm, you have asked about something that is steering me since many years. This place you have mentioned has been attracting the inquisitive minds of geographers for a long time, but nobody has ever been brave enough to explore that region. Why? The thing is that the place is some sort of natural anomaly. The probability of storms in that region is much. The Bermuda Triangle? The probability of storms in that region is much higher than anywhere else. Perhaps the reason lies in the cold sea current, but this is just my hypothesis. A lot of ships have disappeared there and that was enough to make sailors avoid that place. All of the main sea routes are passing far from that region anyway. I take it that you also don't know the truth. Exactly, senor. But I have also, uh, but I have a couple of historical documents and some material evidence, so I have all rights to suspect a high probability of that place's existence. Can you tell me more? Sure. 
The most important evidence is a historical document with extracts from the journal of Captain Alvarado who has visited the island in 1620. Quite an interesting story, I tell you. Captain Alvarado? It is the second time I hear that name. I am not surprised. The story of Captain Alvarado has been part of folklore for years. A change got filled with rumors, lies and dreams. So here it is. The legend of the island of the abandoned ships. Gossip can change, but the paper and ink cannot. They stay intact for hundreds of years. Here, read the story. Perhaps it will help you unveil what you are looking for. Thanks, got anything else? There is a theory that the bottom of the sea in the area rises high enough to form a vast shoal. And I have already mentioned the current. There is also a large accumulation of seagulls and other seabirds according to sailors talks. Alvorado mentioned names of vessels which were part of Admiral Francisco Betancourt's squadron, a squadron that was lost more than 50 years ago. I doubt that this is just a coincidence. I will return to my ship and read Alvarado's notes carefully. Thank you for your help, Senor Dios. You are welcome. Actually, I didn't help you at all. You haven't got the coordinates of the place and neither do I. I can't even prove that there's an inhabited island out there. But as far as I understand, you intend to explore this area? If so, then be aware that I will be really grateful for any information, especially if it is provided with material proof. It seems that you are a wealthy man, but I will find a way to repair you. Good, then we got a deal, Senor Dios. Perhaps my notes will be read by someone in the future too. And someone might even write a legend. Why not? Senor Charles, I see that you are an adventurous man who travels a lot. I want to ask you to do something. Yes, I am listening. You know that I am a... You know that I am a cartographer, so... I have been drawing maps of the Caribbean archipelago for two years, compiling the Admiral's Atlas for the Vice King's Contest of Nueva Granada. But all of my 24 maps were stolen from my house in the most insolent way while I was captured by pirates. The one Senor Svensson saved me from. Oh. I am sure that the attack was organized by one of my competitors in order to acquire my maps. It has been a long time, but I have not seen a single map from my set again. I see. You want me to return your maps? Exactly. Perhaps you will find them during your future adventures. It is easy to recognize them. My sign is on each and every one of them. I will generously reward you if you are miraculously able to collect all 24 maps. Fine. I will attentively look at every map I'll find in the archipelago from now on. Well, I have to go now. Thank you for, interesting, uh, for the interesting conversation and for the document. New document received and a map. Uh, uh, yeah, and this. An update. My last hope was vain. Di Dios had nothing certain to tell me, only hypotheses and guesses. Ah, yes, and he has also given me notes of Captain Alvarado. But there are no coordinates, no clues where to search for the mysterious island. From the other side, why am I thinking the shark must be there? I'm in a rat again. Time to see Svensson. Documents, Caribbean Chronicles, Cursed Place. Trip notes of Ignacio Alvarado, captain of the Santiago Galleon. 26, 16, 20. I have no idea, seniors, what we have done to deserve such a fate. For what sins? I don't have any answers, but I will tell you what I was able to see. I swear by the Holy Virgin that it is all true. Summer 1620. My name is Ignacio Alvarado. I am the captain of the Galleon Santiago. Okay. We were sailing from Havana to Veracruz when the deadly storm hit us. We lost control of our ship and had to drift to the north. We were hit by huge waves for a week. By our ship was tough enough. Its hull survived and one day we found ourselves near a strange island, which was basically a ship cemetery. It was huge, a lot of debris without any sign of life. We took our ship's boat to explore this strange place. I saw a small pass through the debris and soon we reached the center of the cemetery. A huge warship called San Augustin. 28, 6, 16, 20. Surprisingly, it was quiet there, no sign of winds. Me and the men were attacked when we got to the warship's deck. Strange black monsters. Their numbers were large and we had to surrender. The island was inhabited. All races and nationalities are represented there. 
All of them are victims of shipwrecks from the last 50 years. Thank God they had considered us their own kind. They don't know that our ship survived, just this island. That is how they call it, but I will name it the City of Abandoned Ships. That is the only name such a place deserves. Two clans own this island. Unfortunately, we were captured by the Rivados clan, offsprings of savages. They treat white men like we treat Africans and Indians. Our small boat was confiscated and we were taken to San Geronimo to be sacrificed according to local traditions to some stone idol. I noticed that the ship was going to sink in the near future and feared that we... 1929-1620 The Narwhal clan is their enemy, white men, mostly consisting of offspring of the first white locals. Lucky for us, they attacked the ship for, to free their comrades, and we were safe. Narwhals told us that we were one hour close to being sacrificed. Our position became a bit better, but we still were captives of the island because we don't have any opportunity to get our... 3rd, 7th, 1620. There are a lot of treasures inside the cargo holds. Clothes, arms, tools, rum, wine and spice. Though provisions of supplies and victuals are quite limited. That is the reason why local clans consider San Agustin as neutral territory. It is a gate to that pass through debris. Only small boats can sail there and locals have plenty of them to trade with smugglers. Treasures for food. That is how it works. Gold has no worth here. 5th, 7th, 16th, 20th. Not much left. Locals don't trust each other, hiding their belongings inside the chests with strong locks. Some skillful swimmers are trying to dive and search at the bottom. They say that there are a lot. Uh, uh, they say that there are lots of treasures. They must be really brave to dive so deep. Giant enemy crabs live there. Okay. The scariest thing is that I have seen them. Big claws and poisonous jaws. Something. Sometimes they reach the surface and... Oh. 7, 7, 16, 20. Despite our skin color, the narwhals don't trust us. Perhaps they are heretics, Dutchers and Englishmen who hate true Catholics. Or they perhaps just fear that we can bring the Spanish soldiers here to end their anarchy. Anyway, they didn't invite us to one of their small boats to sail to Cuba to trade. Secretly, from the narwhals, I have written sailing directions of this island. Perhaps His Excellency Sanko de Alki, the General of Cuba, might find it useful to reach this place and end it. And end it. 15, 7, 1620. A young local man born in Dublin, Ireland, and a true faithful son of the church, offered us to escape from the city of abandoned ships. It seems that this brave man has figured out that our ship is in one piece. Tomorrow we will steal the Rivatus boat. May the Holy Virgin aid us. 21, 7, 6, 20. Success! But once again, we are in the hands of a storm. Our hull is damaged and we have only one day to find a safe place or our fate is going to be unenviable otherwise. All the men are in panic except our brave young Irishman. No doubt, a great future awaits him if he survives this mess. Okay. So, we really return back. Ach, come on. Oh, he's actually following me. Okay, nothing there. Well then, um... Do we really return? Uh, it does provide any coordinates, so we have to return to Jan. Also, it gives us a side quest to locate the missing to excellent maps. This will be found randomly in cabins on enemy ships as well as other places. But now we are stumped as far as Justice Island is concerned, so we turn to a diff ow, different problem. Nathan Hawk, he disappeared in the cellar north of Bluewell. Now that he is gone, Jackman is in charge of Maroon Town, which is bad. According to Jan Hawk, was ambushed and has not been since 
seen since, but his wife Denia has been looking for him. If I can somehow find Hawk, I might can return him to my own town. Unfortunately, I have no leads as well to find Denny. Okay, and the return of the Baron. Oh, okay. Normal enemies killed. Right, then the Pirate Saga. Part 1 of Shaw Kant. Quiet items, nice and hawk. Three random amulets. Aha! Let's give a swan your trains in blue world. Rewards, then you have to More quests. Okay. Miss Sanson's house, you will be greeted by none other than Danny Hawk. She was hanging out in the bushes outside the house. She was and has led her husband into the trap, having heard the conversation she now believes otherwise. We have to go back to Swanson's house. Okay! Let's do that. Food? Okay. Moral? Heroic. Okay. So, I guess it's travel back again, also left again. Samanakov. Uh, okay. Hello. I see a pennant. Ah, let's have fun. Hello. Are you worthy? Irresistible heavy gallery. Oh, 40 50 kids. Okay. Or wait. Ah. Okay. Challenge accepted. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, we have weak wit, which is not great. Ayo, hey, stop it. Just wait until I come to you. Who's going to be first? It shall be you, I guess. Okay, we took uh, a few casualties. Which is, of course, unfortunate. Okay. Why the hell? I feel 
feel like my hands are cold either from the weather or because I spit it on them while talking. Man. Guten Tag. Okay, Concord. Uh. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we did it. Yay, irresistible. So, what are your stats? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my ship is better. I like it more. So... Okay.
people, I got something here. Hey Kitty. Alles gut, alles gut. Alles gut, das ist nur die Toilette. Okay. Äh uh Okay. Oh, you also run away? Really? There's so much space left. That's bullshit. Unless he turned against me. Literally. Yeah, I suffered a lot of damage. No, 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 no. Take my nice. prisoners. What the hell? Okay. Good job. I'm just gonna Good.
Okay. Sorry, people. I was um, drowning the brats. Hello? Hello? I'm just shooting to train my firearm skill. So, teaser. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now people. Give me all the wood you have. We even have bricks. Interesting. I don't think I remember uh, that a ship was carrying bricks. Four, no. Oh, 100 planks, it's very nice. So now I can prepare myself. Let's go. Yeah, we took a lot of damage, but we did it. Nine, nine. Fuck. Shit. Nine. Ah, oh, this click, I hate it. Good thing I saved. Where is it? Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the other side. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, okay, well, that's... 
Fans are we are blue belts. Moist toy is at your service. Sure, maybe I can use uh, the bricks for my future projects with the island, but honestly, I don't want to keep them for that long. Dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. Cannons. Uh huh. Nice. Forty thousand. Very good. Zero. zero. Uh huh. Eight thousand, very good. Uh -huh. uh, Fifty thousand, almost zero zero. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, let's go to port and buy some. I've got the best products around. More planks and stuff. to hire more people. Raise a pirate flag next time. Pirate flag. 
bla 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 bla. Private. Lake. The problem is, um, uh, this is he is the second time, and my only chance probably to get a priest on board again. Until I raise uh, Jolly Roger again, and then that will be it, you know. Um, priest. Priest. Ah, uh, I can put the print on it. Which good. Does mm. reputation? Great reputation. Yes, it's a little bit of a thing happening down at 19 North. But who is? Make sure you have a foreign flag flying if you're trying to keep a priest on board. Otherwise, you'll change to the Royal Roger. Mm hmm. Then you lose your priest during this, and if you are carrying him around for the priest quest, then someone will respond. You don't have to skip the Jolly Roger quests for the sake of him. It is a journey of redemption, but you might take it even as a good character. Uh, yeah, it's over. I think we should push down. English. Okay. I guess we can accept his proposal. Ah, sure. I'm too lazy to reload. And if we lose him in two hours anyway, I mean, if we lose him after all in two hours, sure. I mean, it was not such a big problem, honestly. Uh, one moment.
to import hydrogen. Whereas the devil's Jolly Roger, I will immediately leave your vessel at the very first port. You will consider that, Father, and I'll try not to disappoint you. Please head aboard and introduce yourself to the crew. Okay. So, what's his name? Simon Dexter. Level 31, okay. Okay. That's unexpected. Yo. Yo. What is this combat priest? He is not a priest, he is a monk. A kung fu monk. Or a gun fu monk or something. Holy, holy. Okay. So, let's talk to Schwanz. Okay. <clears throat> I guess the priest was uh, still walking. Charles, but what is coming along? Is there anything I, I can assist you with? I found Dios and we had a pleasant chat. He told me many interesting things, but unfortunately, we didn't get to the nitty gritty. That's too bad. I did hope uh, you say lend us a hand. I was counting on that too, but alas. Well, let's not wallow in our pity. I'll spend some more time contemplating this matter. Yes, Jan. Tell me, how did Hawk die? Nobody witnessed his death, just like no one has seen his body. He simply disappeared several months ago. Since then, it's been the same as with Shark. Neither hide or nor hair. But unlike Steven, Nathan didn't have a reason to hide out. It's for that reason that everyone figured that he had passed away in the silver. If it wasn't for that, then they wouldn't have agreed to elect Jackman in his place. What the hell was Hawk doing in the Selva? It was my fault. I am an old fool. I had persuaded him into taking care of the newly arrived bandits. I have no idea who they are and who their boss is. Normally I wouldn't care, but they started kidnapping friendly mosquitoes. The war chief Kumbana threatened to declare the war pass and ask for my help. I had no option but to interfere. Hawk landed with a small unit on Mosquito Coast, became trapped by an excellently organized ambush and was then defeated. It looked like he and his men were expected to land there. Hawk's corpse wasn't found among the others in the jungles. You've got all kinds of shenanigans happening under your nose. Didn't any of Hawk's guys try to handle the bandits? Jackman beat everyone to the punch. He called himself out to solve the issue at the President's Council and made the decision. Mosquitoes stopped going missing, but the bandits stayed there, laying relatively low. Jackman said that they weren't keeping anyone hostage of those who came to attack them and there was Alta. And there was no reason for the brethren to declare war on, uh, on them. Hawk attacked them first, so according to our laws, the bandits were entitled to protect themselves. Everyone agreed. Everyone but... Everyone but who? Nathan had a wife. Her name is Danielle Hawk, and she is a tough bitch. I doubt she ever got over losing her cap. Not to mention the fact that she suspected something from the very beginning and tried to discourage Hawk. I remember they had a huge dispute about it, but that was nothing out of the ordinary for them. And where's Danielle now? Who knows? Jackman made sure she left Maroon Town. She doesn't pay me visits. We never liked each other. She has become even more bitchy over the years, and now she must really hate me because she probably believes that I am the reason for her misfortunes. Perhaps she is looking for Hawk on her own, but what can one woman do even if she wears pants and a saber? By the way, she has mastered the saber. I don't recommend testing her if you beat her. Yes, 
so yes and there's one ah alter english yes there's no point in talking to the bandits either they have set up a very impressive camp there and are armed to the teeth looks like they are ex ex military and know their business well they don't allow anyone on their territory they say that the spanish used to mine gold there but the gold was depleted and they abandoned the mine I have no clue what those bastards are doing there. Well, uh, since nobody has seen Hawk's corpse, the hope of finding him alive goes on. God knows, you could even return him back into Baronage. Yeah, how about that? Here, take this letter. When you meet Steve Dodson, give it to him right away. The contents of this letter will guarantee your safety. Well, just in case. Thanks, Jan. I'll make sure to do that. Yeah, 6 hours 44 minutes, people. I would say we stop right here and continue next time. The Spaniards from the Abitant Mine are quite interesting. The Spanish experience is wrong. Perhaps Daniel, the wife of Daniel, has managed to learn something specific. But where should I look for her? Well, what does that guide? What does the guide say? Ring, ding, 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 ding. What does the guide say? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's do that quickly, maybe. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, who do we have here? I go by my husband's last name. Another woman. Daniel Hawk. Ever met him? Hey, Daniela Hawk. Wait, handsome. I think we should talk. Do I know you? Anyway, I always have a few extra hours for a lady. Don't get all excited, Captain. Go try with a silly and younger lass. Okay. Don't make plans just yet, Captain. Find yourself some younger, foolish looking girl for a few extra hours. I have got business for you. I'm married. Ah, I married actually. My husband's name is Nathaniel Hawk. Isn't that something? So you must be that. Be uh, 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 Danny Hawk. Mr. Svensson mentioned. In the flesh, yes, I'm aware that the forest devil doesn't think much of me. The feeling is mutual, but he had to warn you that I wear my saber not just because it's pretty. But is it? I see you have a duty pistol. Or is it a shotgun revolver? So, cut to the chase, son. I've been shadowing Svensson and his visitors for a while because he was the one who sent my husband into the jungles to die. I thought that he was working with Jackman, but now I see that he is not. I was hiding under the window during your conversation. Couldn't eavesdrop everything but learned a lot of useful information. Are you really willing to find my husband and kick Jackman's ass? Or were you only talking cheap? I think she's wearing a hangman. Eavesdropping is bad, Madame Hawk, but I will forgive you if you talk to me in a more respectful way. Looking for Hawk or not, that's only my concern. Speak if you have something useful to say, or leave me alone if you don't. I won't ask twice. And here again, out of nowhere, Charles is... Um... Yeah. Uh, Charlie... Ch Charlie. Charles has a... Attitude. Aha, such a hothead. Come on, Ken. My temper is not really making you comfortable, that's for sure. I see that you are not a coward and you know you were. So, let's familiarize ourselves. I promise it... Uh, I promise you that I will be careful with what I am saying to you. I need you and you need me. Share goals. Take me to your crew and you won't regret it. I will serve you with good faith and fidelity until we find Mason. You have my word. Consider yourself accepted, Daddy. Svensson told me that you have already been searching for your husband. Have you found anything of interest? Not much, but enough to accuse Jackman of lying. The bastard said that the mines guards those menace face didn't take prisoners, and while it's true that no one has seen my husband's corpse at the day, how could they? Because he actually was taken to the mines as a prisoner. Snake Eye, a shaman of the mosquito people, found him there. He also arranged his escape, but there were, uh, but where my husband is now, that death stays unknown. The shaman was mumbling something about some Kukulkin who ate him, but I didn't understand anything. Besides, the red skin made it pretty clear that white women are nothing but a joke for him. You should speak with him, maybe he will be more conversable. That's something at least. Such news make me happy. Where can I find this Indian? 
There's a village deep in the jungles. We need to land at Amatique Bay and go west of the jungles. We will show you the way if you don't mind it yourself. The stone idol can be found not far from the village and the savages revere it as a god. I have been there several times. Nothing special, really. Just a simple stone covered by moss. Interesting. Fine, let's go. We will talk to the shaman and we will see what we do next. Ready? Sure, of course, I'm ready. Ah, sorry. Let me start again. Sure, of course I am ready. I have been traveling all the time since I have left Maroon Town. Besides, I don't want to be just another of your passengers. Fine, let's go to mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. The return of the Baron. What a run, I have two wounds now. Isn't that something? Danielle was waiting for me right in front of the contestants. Turns out that she had been stalking Jan for a long time, but our conversation and decided to interfere. I accepted her proposal of partnership. Danny Hawk will accompany me until we find your husband. Danielle had been searching for her husband who abandoned me for a while and she has got some results. A mosquito shaman named Snake Eye said that uh, Hawk has survived and was captured and escaped. Nobody has seen the man since then. I thought the escape was. Uh, I thought there was a plan of escape. Nobody has seen the man since then. What did Shaman mean by saying that Hawk could be eaten by Vulcan? I have to see the Shaman and find answers for all questions I have. He lives in an Indian village in the death of Maine, west of MIT, Maine. Okay. Hey! Man, exactly what I thought. And ammo. Okay. Wait a second. Isn't that the same picture for uh, Helen? Okay, what do you do? Hmm? Ah, you are also all, also all right. Yeah, we need to Okay, welcome up on, uh, on board, I guess. Wrong way? Thank you. I would like to dismiss you temporarily. And another private flag. Okay. And yeah, as I said, uh, we will continue next. We will continue next time. So. So, mm. yeah, yeah, okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for being here. Sorry for my not so peaking English tongue today, but next time will be probably better. So, stretch. Oh, oh. Now, uh, bye bye. Until Friday, have a good week. Please, thank you. And good night. Ciao, and thank you everyone for looking.